Hello. Oh my god, am I live? Did I actually make it? Yo, why is it the second that I get up to turn off my lights, my, like I start cramping? What the fuck is this? Hello, friends. Oh my god, I did it. We, we redid the office. It is still a work in progress, but look at the progress that has been, that has been had. Very proud. Very, very, very proud. I feel like there's a chunky delay in the stream because I just had my stream up and it took a long time to get from this to that, but you know what, we will. Hello, your light looks so good, thank you. It's more schmoody, it's more schmoody and now you can actually see my hair and not, it's not like, you know, congested and muddy in the back. Now it's like, you know, it looks good. Can I punch your Eevee? No, but you can punch me. Punch me instead. She was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Also, sure is beautiful. Oh my god. Yes. Look at my new play suit. I, I'm I'm wearing tights because I didn't shave my legs. I didn't want to get harassed today. But look at it. Isn't it cute? It's like it's got that like terry cloth kind of material. It's like a towel sort of. It's so cute. Oh, is that a hole? No, it's fluff. Wait, is that a hole? No, it's fluff. Okay. But yeah. It's so cute. I, I love it. I love it so much. My um Avriel, as you all know, one of my one of my besties, she's here and she was trying to help me get into it, but it would not <laughs> the buttons were not <laughs> were not buttoning. But we've all <laughs> that Cubone plus she is huge. I know, it's a big boy. He's a big boy. We need a big boy. Hello friend. Yes, she's tucked away in the living room right now. The girls will not be contained. They will not be contained. My boobs will breast boobily until the day I die. That's just how it is. Griffin, thank you for two months reason. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the country of your bedrooms and your stay. Thank you. So, um, we have a dilemma now because now I can't see chat. I'm going to put y'all here, here. Ooh, down here is kind of spicy. Actually, I kind of like up here where the ugly window is. Yeah. That's kind of that's kind of good. I kind of I kind of dig that. I normally prefer like chat on like this side, but we can fuck with this. I fuck with this. Let's see. Let me just like make a little adjustment. I'll do it like that. Yeah! Yeehaw! There we go. Perfect. Why did I say yeehaw? Hello, K Buzz. I'm sorry, Friday night. I'm ready to stay awake for you. Oh, yay! Yay! Perfect. We can all hang out while I. Bulldoze through 5.5. I am so excited. I am so, so, so excited and I'm so nervous. I don't know what to expect. Um, apart from like Fen Daniel, who by the way is an icon. Mads is an icon. Hi Simone, hello. Once again, hello. I work in the morning, but I am also in here for the long haul. I'm more important than work, let's be real. Let's be real. Good evening, lovely, happy, happy 15 months. Happy 15 months, Lissy. Are you a 15 month resubber now? We love to see it. I put my phone to charge. If it will charge at all. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I honestly, I love Fan Daniel so far too. He's kind of a vibe. <laughs> okay, so I need to tweet that I'm live. Do not hate me, but I can't stand Fan Daniel. That's okay. That's okay. He's not for everybody, obviously. I love hate him. Okay, but I need to take a photo. Chat, you want to say hi? Want to say hi? Let's give let's let's have some little highballs because y'all gonna appear on Twitter real quick, okay? Let's see. Let me get my pose ready. What's my what's my Twitter pose? What's the Twitter pose? <laughs> Hello to the bird app. Let's see. What's a good pose? Should I just do I just? There we go. That's good. <laughs> Oh, that was terrible. I didn't puff up my lips like I usually do. Not the power bottoms. Not the power bottoms. Here, I could do better than that. We could do better than that. We can we can do better. We can do better. Whoa, mama. What's up, girl? We'll do this. We'll do we'll do oh, we'll do we'll have a little cheeky. There we go. Get the titties out. Get the girlies out. There we go. I did it. I did it. That'll do. Th 
That'll do, Donkey! That'll do! Alrighty. Let me tweet. Let me do a little Twitter twat. Perfect. Live on Twitch. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. There is a massive snowstorm happening in Toronto right now, and it's like I feel like it's died down a little bit, but it was like thundering and lightninging, and there's snow everywhere. Like my window right now is littered with snow. It's pretty fucking bad. Okay, here's a tweet. Give it a smooch if you'd like. We had our rain, but it's just raining. Oh, you have rain? No, we have like snow. Like this is like proper snow. The cars are moving so slowly, like it's wild. Hello, Dennis. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Looking gorgeous. Thank you, Dulas. It's very sweet of you to say. I appreciate it. Dentist! Dentist, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that got gifted subs. Welcome to Counter Badge Moments in your stay. Let me unmute the alerts really quickly. That way we can actually have them play for the time being. There we go. Ooh, now they're con. There we go. I'll put this here. There we go. Hey! Okay, let me just make sure it's okay there. Perfect. Woo! The stream is streaming! It's looking good! Look at this setup! Look at us go! We're killing it. We're killing it, chat. 50 more till 1,000. Will we make it tonight? Dentist? Dentist? If you gift another 50 subs, I swear to God. You are a legend, my guy. You are a legend. But hey, when you hit 1K, you gotta hit 2K after, you know? From Canada, we're going snow with periods of rain. Oh, man. Are we... I don't know if Toronto's gonna get the rain, too. I hope not. I don't want no rain. I don't want ice. Oh, I showed your stream to my braid static and they love that you have subtitles because the second language is English? Hell yeah! Of course I have subs. Subtitles are super important for content. If you don't add subs or alt text, which I'm very bad at, but I'm trying to get better at. If you don't add that shit to your content, you're not making it accessible. Not good, not good. And also, what I discovered too, which I didn't realize like was pretty common, was that people use, like people will watch like English streamers and English Bongo Sarah Coven. Bongos. People will watch English streamers and like English just content creators to learn English. So if I can help, I'm a help. But also, thank you, Alec, for the nine month Risa. What are we naming our baby? Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? It's a bit hot here and people are talking about snow. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Where? Wait, where are you? Where's it? Where? Why is it hot for you? Queen activity? No, you're still right. I had no idea you were Canadian. Maybe just for cut. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my fuck. My drink got stuck to my coaster. <laughs> I was like, watching streams and shows is such a good way to learn language. It is. Maybe that's how I'll learn Spanish. I'll just start rewatching Money Heist <laughs> repeatedly. Charlotte? Like, um, where's Charlotte again? New Brunswick? Nova no. Not New Brunswick. It's Newfoundland? Newfoundland? Oh. Oh. North Carolina? Oh. What the fuck? What? Isn't like Charlottetown or Charlotte Charlottetown like the capital of like a Canadian place? Is it not? I swear it is! I swear it is! No, it definitely is! Charlotte Town. Suck my ass. I was so close. Suck my ass, chat. Hold on, will it load? Come on. Come on. Come on, OBS. Come on, OBS. Show them. Show them I'm a genius. Look! Charlottetown, city and Prince Edward Island, which is one of the prairies, which is by Newfoundland and all that shit, okay? I was so close. Give me some fucking credit. I did my damn best. All right, I'm trying here. <laughs> That's having telenovela level <laughs> reactions to Final Fantasy XIV cutscenes. Oh my god, what if I started setting up different scenes where it's like dramatic zoom-ins and, and <laughs> fucking sound effects? Could you imagine? Da -da -da -da. <gasps> <sighs> Why would out east be hotter? I don't know, Kelsey! I don't know! Look, I'm not smart! 
smart, okay? I just make good guesses, okay? Oh my god, Zumbi, it's nice to see you again. Hello, is it pronounced Lokesh? Hello, how are you? Hello, game she plays, what's up? Raven, hello! It's nice to see you. Oh my god, are you abandoning um, Ball 3 for me? I am honored. Me and Red can just speak Spanish to you all the time. That works too. But are you gonna have live subtitles for me, Elise? Hello, Emmy! Hello, how are you? It's nice to see you in here. How you doing, sweet bean? Get the Bollywood swirl zooms. Oh my god, yes. Just lock? Okay, bet. I got you, lock. Hey, Mystic! I've just been crying in two and walking streams back to back while doing a clear out of causes. I'll cry at literally anything now. I'm so raw. You're relatable. I love it, raw. Your sister's name is Syra? Hey, yo, look, I almost never meet other Syras. Nah, nah, we're moving on. Nah, we're moving on. I said nothing. We're moving on for that. Nah, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're gonna talk about how many Syras we know. I'm the only one that y'all should know. I'm the only important one. <laughs> yo, we about to get into more heated debates tonight. Yo, fucking ready. I'm drinking, I'm drinking. I'm drinking tonight, so chat, don't fuck with me once again. This time I can't even blame the BPD. I gotta blame the uh, 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 alcohol. Thank you for the five biddies, bustin, bustin, bustin balls, B bustin, bu bu bustin balls, bustlin balls. I can't, I can't read. I cannot read. No, this is not a Caesar. This is just Aperol and her and a mango harito. Harito, harito. We drink and yes, we drink in the chat. Are you gonna join me? Are we gonna drink tonight? Are we, are you gonna drink with me? Are we gonna cry and finish Shatterbringers together with some Alcaminols? I think the only thing we can blame for yesterday is a bunch of fucking weirdos showing up to be racist and pick fights. That was literally it. I feel like every fight that we had yesterday was from people being racist. That's literally what it felt like. What is this pretty music? This is from Final Fantasy XIV, babes! These are lo-fi mixes of the Final Fantasy XIV uh, music. This is, I believe, Kugane, which is one of the main, one of the main areas in um, the second X-Pack Stormblood. You're near the end of Shadowbringers, that's awesome. I know, finally! I, I, we're like, wait, chat. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Naughty, thank you for the hydration. Let me take a sip of this. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Does this mean I get to watch the Endwalker trailer tonight? If I get through it, will it finally happen? <laughs> a year and a half later, a year and a half later of dodging the main menu. Oh my god! We got it so much to get through, but I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> Holy shit! At long last! But here's the fun part. We're not starting Endwalker immediately. <laughs> after we get to that point, after we get to that point, I will be taking a break. A much needed break. We are probably going to just do dailies with my PNG tuber, um, PepperTube, as I like to call it. Um, and I think I'm gonna start back up like Breath of the Wild and Monster Hunter World. Maybe play Resident Evil or something. Just a little. We're gonna just toss a little bit more garbage into the into the pot. Um, I also do 
want to start doing um, some comfy, cozy Stardew Valley streams. Chat, would you be interested in that? Would y'all like to... I'm seeing all the crack at NJ right now. Look, it's that good shit, okay? <laughs> That's what people are here for. But yeah, I really want to do um, some Stardew Valley streams. I really miss playing Stardew. Um, I remember when I had a phase where it's all I would stream for a little while. Oh no, not all I would stream, but I would stream it a lot. And those were some of the like comfiest streams I've ever had. Um, and I would love, I would love to do that. I want to have a little, a little farm with, with some friends. I think that'd be, that'd be nice. Do y'all think the Leon voice actor is gonna channel Dead by Daylight Energy for a Resident Evil 4 remake? I wish I could reply to this. Peppermint buys the farm. Oh my god, should I roleplay as Pepper? Should I roleplay as Pepper in Stardew? <laughs> or should I play as me? Do a multiplayer playthrough? I will. That's the plan. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll RP as Pepper. Miss Peppa. Oh, sweet peppermint. Chat, are you excited? Are you ready? We're finally going to be getting um, Pepper I uh, emote soon. I'm so stoked. We have like 20 coming in. Pepperidge <laughs> Don't kill me. Hi, Anji. Hello. You can get cat ears in the game as a hat. Yes, I can. I've had them before. But I'm so excited for the Pepper emotes. I have been wanting to revamp our stream for a really long time and it feels really nice to finally have a mascot that I'm like 100% into. So, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited. Okay, I feel like I have stalled for too long. I know it's only been 20 minutes. Usually we hang out and just chatting for way longer, but would it be so bad if we jumped into the game immediately? So it came out right when I had a gnarly car accident and just played it nonstop for two weeks before covering. Hey, what could go wrong? Blood up! Uh Thank you for the hydration and thank you for the posture. Are you watching me with Avril right now? Are y'all just curled up on the couch watching me? What happened to Ray and Era? I still have Ray. It's just like she is so intricately designed that like I can't where I can't use her Valislin like every day. And on emotes, it doesn't show up like super well either. Drew, I thank you for the two month resub. But with Pepper, Pepper is just me with all of eyes and cat ears. It's so much easier. Rayanera is my heart and soul. Rayanera is me, but Pepper is like a really good mascot to have. Because who doesn't love a cat girl? Am I right? Sunflower, hello! Yes, we are I, yeah, I can fucking tell! Do you two goblins want to come say hi? Is Avril goblined out? Oh, she's pissing and shitting. Y'all want to say hi to Vlad? You don't have a choice. <laughs> What's Hello. Up? What's up, Vlad? Big children. When did you get here? Wow. 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 I wonder. I, I wonder. wonder. I wonder who did my entire setup with Avril. Wow. Is that a Vlad? Oh my god. Live Vlad love. <laughs> I wonder who did the biggest setup in the Oh my god. World. Who fucking. The lights, though? Miss girl. Okay, the lights? Did you meet him at Ikea at 12? We met him at 2. Me and Avril were running a little bit late. Avril was not feeling too hot and I was depressed, so. These lights were the best for me. Yeah. And then, um, other than that, we have Gorf. Gorf. We have the Gorf. Pet the- yes, pet the VIPs, pet the Vlad. Vlad is a very important pe 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 person. Peer pe person. Pet the Vlad. Pet the VIPs. Vlad is so cute. I know, he's baby. Look at- look at him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I like Waldo. You are Waldo now. Pets for Vlad. Pets for Vlad. Okay. Are we ready? Shall we ready? Is it time? Is it time? What the fuck happened to my ears? How come every motherfucking time I put on my my headset, the ears are like, oh, you want us to like flop over? Like, nah. Okay, let me let me fix my cat ears, and I'll just I'll just uh, I'll just go here while I fix these ears. For the record, if I meet Vlad, I will give him head pats. Good. 
I pretty much drag Vladimir to, his name isn't even Vladimir, I just like calling him Vladimir. But I drag him to every convention that I go to, so if you see me at a con, Vlad will be there. So you get to meet both of us, it's double win. My streamer, love the ears and I hope you are doing great. You are interrupting my beautiful alert. Someone just gifted me or sent me 300 bits and you come stomping in here, talking over the alert. The okay, you know what, Vlad? You're losing your VIP status. Mm -hmm. I said it. I said it. Yeah, you're not a very important person anymore. How could you, Vlad? How could you? How could you do this? How could you do this to Jim? I'm, I'm sorry, my lord, Jim. My lord. My lord, my lord Jim, Jim. I'm sorry. He's sorry. He, no one can even see you. Uh, <clears throat> Where are you? Left? Where, what bro? Left? What are you? Doing? I have to be like right here. Okay. Uh huh. <clears throat> I am sorry, my lord, Jim. Uh -huh. Please forgive me. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm so glad I went to full screen just for that. Amazing. Yeah, that was um that was a white boy twerk. You know what? Good job, Vlad. That was that was great. You killed it. You killed it, Vlad. <laughs> What's all that moving back there, Vlad? <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello? Oh my god. Hello, more girlies? Amazing. Look at all these kitties. Okay. Okay, let's get this game bumping. Let's get it going. Let's get rid of that. We don't need any more lo-fi. Oh my god. Okay, I'm like, I have like the jitters. I'm, I'm excited. Wait, I can't hear the game. I'm really, really excited to get to the end of Shadowbringers. I genuinely can't fucking believe that this is happening. It felt like a pipe dream. Like, I really thought I would never get this far. But like, we're actually doing it. This is insane to me. This is madness. My lap is cold now. I'm sorry. Maybe Avalon can sit on your lap. Did you call me a girly? I did. We're all girlies. Okay. All right. Let's see. Unto the beach. Unto the unto the breach. Oh my god, it's giving Dragon Age. Oh my god, it's giving Dragon Age. Ah! Okay. And 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. The girlies. The Gorlies. This ear is like busted. It does not want to stay put. You're so gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Is it little Bate? Thank you. That's very sweet of you to say. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. How you doing? He's pretty fly for a white guy. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Okay. That's better, I think. Okay, so I have to go into Revenant's Toll. Is that what's happening here? Is that what's going on here? Wait, let me put, let me open this in my journal. Why can't, why isn't it popping up? Oh, I haven't even like accepted it yet. I think that's why. Um, so we go in here, I believe. I got away with Smacking Pepper. You hit her? She probably deserved it. <gasps> Hello, Redhead Catboy. Is, that's my new weakness now. Red, Grahatia, like, man. I got I got too excited. If you're a blue-haired catboy or a red-haired catboy, I am in. I am in. I am on my knees. All right, let's speak to my baby Alize. Hey, bestie. Unto the breach. Alize is waiting patiently for the return of certain scions, not least of all you. Good news, Pepper. Thancred and Urianje have finished their tour of Garlemald and are on their way back here, even as we speak. As we still haven't heard. I haven't heard anything on the towers from the lions. I'm hoping they might be able to shed some light on some things. They're due to arrive any moment now. So let's see what they have to say, eh? Okay, bestie. Oh, it's a cutscene. Please be a voiced one. Oh, this does not seem voiced. Oh, maybe? No, it's not giving voiced energy. Ah, a welcoming party. You need to have gone to the trouble. From what I hear, you've been more than busy enough as it is. Honestly, you might have waited for me to return before discovering a cure for tempering. As it is, I can't even pretend to have been involved. 
While well, if it's any consolation, I myself was a little more than a spectator. The lion's share of the credit must go to Alize, Graha, and Pepper, but I believe I speak for the rest of us when I say we are proud to have rendered what little assistance we could. Is my hair... Oh, I forgot I cut my hair again. Oh my god. <laughs> as you will also have heard, though, it hasn't all been tales of triumph. Just as we were taking step backs, taking a step towards finally addressing the primal threat, a pile of... Holy fuck! That lightning was so- oh my god! IRL flashbang, holy shit! That's a good flashbang! Dude, that lightning was so bright! Chat, did you see that? Oh my god! Holy fuck! Nah, bro, that was- That was so bright! Yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good. I My OBS is, like, bugging out again, so I'm just gonna open chat separately in a separate tab. I know, I'm always getting fucking flashbang, bro. I hate it here. IRL and in game. I saw it in my party, then a few, then again a few seconds later. Oh, no. Ramu is here! As you will also have heard, though, it hasn't all been tales. Oh, I read that already. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Though I can't help noticing that we're one Uriange short of a scouting party. You haven't lost him, have you? Oh, where is he? Oh, I couldn't lose him if I tried. And I did try. <laughs> Repeatedly. But no. He decided to linger in El Amigo to appraise Raban and the others of how the land lies in Garlemald. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hi, Waldo. Oh no, is the baby scared? Hi, Papa. There's a puppy in here. I got a big puppy. Hi, puppy. I think he's okay. I think he's okay. He's looking out the window. He said, Mama, what the heck with that? He said, Mama, what the heck with that? Yeah. My little worm. <laughs> yeah, this is Waldo. Waldo! Waldo, what's this? I got a tree for you. Waldo, do you want a treat? <gasps> Yay! Hi, Mama! Oh, you can't even see his face when he's over there. Nah, he's too concerned about looking out the window. Lise is in my alliance, right? Disgusting, I'm so sorry. Then mayhap you do the same for us? Do the same. Indeed, it was just as Lise said. Worse, in fact. Devastation as far as the eye could see. Nerva and the, and the third, however, were notable, notable by their absence. Hmm... Might they have met their end at the hands of Xenos and Fandaniel? Unless they're a part of it. Perhaps, or perhaps they simply lost the will to fight. Ooh. You see, the capital has been plunged into a deathly silence, with one exception. The Imperial Palace. It was a busy place before the war, but it has grown busier still, with throngs of soldiers and civilians working there day and night to rebuild, or rather, transform it. Transform it? Into what? That is a difficult question to answer. The construction is vast and unsettling to behold, like something from a nightmare. According to Uriange, certain aspects of its design were clearly devised with the manipulation of ether in mind. Magitech, in other words. Yet as unnerving as said edifice Yeah, edifice was. It oh, I got a little scoopy! I you can't see, but there's a there's a little scoopy beside me. <laughs> I love it when Waldo keeps me company. Makes me feel like I'm being a good mama. <laughs> There's nothing next to the site of its builders. They swarm the place like so many insects, working with nary a word exchanged between them. No one overseeing construction, no barking, no one barking orders. It was as if they were possessed or tempered. Oh, right. Like the guy who was like, um, walking over to Elise. Yeah, they're probably tempered with Lunar Bahamusi. Or tempered by Lunar Bahamusi. We wanted to investigate more closely, but given our suspicions, it seemed wiser not to take the risk. Hmm. If Daniel could bind Bahamut to his will, might he have done the same to the people of Garlemald? Ooh, or wait. It's Daniel, not Bahamusi. Whatever the truth may be, this information is certain to prove valuable. You have our thanks. 
Well, be sure to save some for Uriange. Which reminds me, I have a message from Alamigo. Roban is hosting a meeting to discuss the latest findings on the towers, and he requested our presence. Then why not leave that to us? You must be wary from your mission. No, no, I'm fine. Those towers have been on my mind since I first spied one on the way back, and I'm keen to get to the bottom of this. You can get to the bottom of this. In that case, I shall save and be I shall stay and begin looking into another matter, as I promised Kryl. We n we need not all attend. Very well. I suggest the rest of us make our way to Alamigo forthwith. The sooner we leave, the more time we will have to speak with Uriange bef before the meeting. Da -na -na -na. Oh, you know what I'm so excited about? The new alerts that are going to come with Endwalker. Oh my god. Thankard when he became a Dilf. I, kn I agree! I mean, look, I wanted to fuck Thankard regardless, but now that he's a Dilf? Mm, my god! See, sometimes all men need is to just have a little bit of daddy energy, and then we want them even more. If you're curious to know what I will be doing in your absence, let us speak of it another time. At present, Kral and I have no more than a hypothesis. Spooky. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Where are we going? Hello, Zack Attack. How are you? And hello, Jay. What's up? Hello, hello, hello. That was quite the time to join. People have joined at worse times. Jay, get ready. By the way, I'm drinking. I hope you're prepared to mod for me. <laughs> okay. Let's see, where are we going? Where are we going? God, I always get lost here without fail. I hate navigating this place. I literally hate El Amigo. Thankred, Ishtola, and Pepper Group? Okay, hold on. Thankred and Ishtola? Towering Pepper? I could be into that. Wait, there's a lookout spot there. How the fuck am I supposed to get up there? Is there a jump puzzle here? Wait, chat. Is there a jump puzzle in Alamigo that I don't know about? For Alamigo! Sloppy! You can fly here? Okay, wait, I- okay, I got excited. I thought y'all meant I could, like, fly fly. I can't fly fly. Or wait. Do I have to unlock something? What game is this? this is Final Fantasy fourteen. We were lied to. We were lied to. I can't- I can't fly here. Or- I- Wait. Oh yeah, I did not- Oh, mmm. Oh, mmm. Ether currents. You know what? You know what? I completely forgot that those fuckers were a thing. And you know what? It's gonna stay that way. If you think I'm gonna get the ether currents just to fucking get a lookout spot in my fucking Girabanya? Girl, no. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. Or someone could t want me to hop on and fly to the mall? Hello? My personal taxi? Okay, maybe. You ready because in each expansion they add more? I know, and I want to die. MSQ, I know. Okay, wait. Yeah, Jay, do not distract me. Jason, do not distract me. Be a good boy. I have places to go and people to see. My friends, much and more have I heard of your travails in our absence. Hardened am I to see you all hale and whole. As I reach you safely return from your mission, Ariange, I trust Anchor made you feel welcome. Well, well, if it isn't Alfino and his merry band. Hello? Who is addressing just Alfino? Oh, it's this dude! What was this guy's name again? Aaronvold! Yes! Whatever are you doing here? When we spoke via Link Pearl, you told me you'd be away on a mission. And who's to say this isn't part of it? But enough about that. It's good to see you looking so... similar. I thought you'd have grown a bit taller after a whole year in another world, but apparently not. Okay, rude. 
Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well, my soul may be a year older, my body has hardly aged, as you are well aware. And may I remind you that we Allison are known to be late bloomers, especially in terms of our height. Mark my words, the day will come when even a great oryx such as yourself will crate in your neck to meet my eye. Oh, Alfie, no. Nah, I hope you stay a pipsqueak. God, look at Pepper's boobs. Sorry. Aye, it was not until my 20th summer that I finally, that I myself outgrew my boyish proportions. Though Moonbrita towered over me nonetheless. Oh, yes, she did. Oh, yes, she did. Arenveld brings out the best in Alfie now, doesn't he? They both seem so at ease in each other's company. It's almost endearing. <gasps> Alfievald? Arano? Arenvald is the best big brother to Alfie now? Okay, well, now I take back my ship. So what exactly brings you here? Oh, Fordola mostly. Oh my god, I forgot about that bitch! I forgot about Fordola. Damn. We need to go over a few things before we set out. Set out? Wait, does this need to do with the towers? Eh? What gave you that impression? I wanted to show y'all his toes. I wanted to show y'all Waldo. Look at his drool! Look at the drool he left behind! Bro, I just wanted y'all to see some puppy feet. Mm -mm. Fucking disrespect. <laughs> the fucking disrespect. <laughs> but instead, I got a whole last puddle of drool on my floor. <sighs> oh, Waldo. Did y'all hear him snore? <laughs> I love that boy. I know, Waldo feet for free? Yeah, Waldo's feet aren't behind a paywall. Oh my god, what if I made that a thing on my fan house? If you tip me like 10 bucks, or like 5 bucks even, I'll give you a photo of Waldo's feet. <laughs> Actually, tell me later. You've got a meeting to go to. I'll see you afterwards, alright? Okay. God, the cutscenes in this game have, like, seriously improved. If Ardola is going with him, that must mean... What? What? My apologies. As Arenvald rightly pointed out, we have a meeting to attend. Let us be about it. Wait, what does that mean? She's a tough cookie. Is she finally, like, on our side and agreeing with us and all that shit? Is that- is that it? Because I know she was very, like, rebellious. Oh my god. Oh my god! Please tell me this is voice acted. Ere we begin, yes! I would like to offer my gratitude to Masters Thancred and Urianger. It is no small feat to infiltrate the Imperial capital and live to tell the tale, much less in times of civil war. Thanks to them, we may plot our course in full knowledge of how the winds blow in Garlemald. Full glad are we to have been of service. But verily, such dangers as we did encounter pale into insignificance next to those faced by our comrades. An Asian, armed with the might of Bahamut, bent on bringing about the final days. Theatrix. He sought only to make a show of the power at the Telephoroi's disposal. Telofroy, Telofroy, Telofroy. Gotta learn how to but pronounce since that. since then we have seen no sign of this fan Daniel or his worm. And while we've done what we can to bolster our defenses, there's no telling where he might strike next. Fan Daniel. <laughs> Whenever and wherever it may be, we must use the intervening time to learn more of our enemy. Twas with this in mind that we dispatched scouts to investigate the towers. I always forget that she has horns. Like, I don't think that's just like a head, like a headpiece, like a headdress. Our advance party took longer than expected to return. And when they did, they tried to kill us. Luckily, I'd seen that sort of thing before, and we were able to restrain them before they did any harm. Mm. Then it was just a matter of letting the Porksies do their work. Easy, easy. Are you saying they were tempered? 
So the theory was right. Or Thancred's theory Once was they'd right. come back to their senses, they told us everything they could. It seems that just as they were getting close to the tower, they heard an ear-splitting roar. And that was the last thing they remembered. Oh. But what worries me most is what they were saying right before they attacked. Glory be to Garlemald. The Tempered have heretofore ever been thralls to primal entities, yet these hapless souls were compelled to accept a nation as the object of their devotion. This calleth into question all that we know of the condition. Would that the unsettling news ended there. Alas, there is more. Following the earlier reports of missing Amalja, we have learnt that other right. beast tribes have suffered similar losses. I forgot about that already, oh my god. And we now have reason to believe that the abductions are connected to the appearance of the towers. Our scouts sighted black-garbed figures leading shackled Ixel in the direction of the tower in Dravania. Black-garbed figures? Asians? The Temple Knights were able to intercept them before they could reach their destination, liberating the Ixel and apprehending their captors, each of whom was found to be equipped with Garlean arms and armor. So the Empire is the common thread. With the support of Xenos, it seems likely that Fandaniel has rallied a faction of the splintered Garlean army to the banner of the Tolophoroi. Tolofroy, 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 Tolofroy. Lord Hien reached the same conclusion when I shared our findings with Doma. The plan had been to march on Garlemald from the east and west in order to force a peace treaty. But the situation has changed. Dealing with the threat of the towers must come first. Given the nature of the enemy, and the proven risk of tempering, I could think of few suitable candidates to aid in this task. But I am confident in my choice. Mm. What? Okay, redemption arc, come through. Resistant to primal influence as they are, they can investigate the towers without fear of being mm -hmm. turned. Okay, we love to see it. We are glad to put our gifts to use, Commander. God, Ferdola is so hot. Gifted or not, going behind enemy lines remains a perilous undertaking. But we must know more if we're to strike back at our foe. I'm counting on you. If it would give us the upper hand, I'd do it a hundred times over. We won't let you down. That concludes the briefing. You two, make ready and join your escort. Are you certain about this, Arunvald? I am. Come on, let's talk outside. Alfino is concerned, and now I'm concerned. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. Hello, John. Thank you for the eight-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Bye, Glenn. 
Thank you for helping today. Oh, my ears, my ears. Thank you. You bent my ear. How dare you? Dark Venus, thank you so much for the raid and thank you for yeah, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a great stream and I hope you're having a lovely night. Welcome into the chat. Hello. Gangsters, what's up guys? Mama Mia, let me go. <laughs> Mama Mia, Mama Mia. <laughs> thank you for the hundred biddies, dissatisfied. I Ben Emmerich over that desk for real for real. Honestly, I'm with you. Sometimes I don't know if I want to peg Emmerich or if I want Emmerich to fuck me instead. But, like, when I put, like, I ship Emmerich and Astinian, and we all know who the bottom is in that relationship, and it is not Astinian. Hey, I'm gonna mute alerts now because I completely forgot to do that while we're going through MSQ. Why not both? Okay, you know what? Fair, 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 fair. No, you got me there. You got me there. I'm gonna speak with Alfino first and then Fredola. I accept that numbers can prove a hindrance when infiltrating enemy territory, but to send only two? If it's small talk you're after, look elsewhere. Oh. Okay, sorry. Sorry for bothering you. I didn't mean to. Now that it's out in the open, I don't have to keep it under my proverbial, proverbial hat anymore. Damn, we're already done this quest? No shot. What the fuck? So you know, I've already gone through all the formalities at the Rising Stones. Made sure to inform Jamulda and Vmar at Ralga's reach as well. <laughs> Arenvold, I admire your enthusiasm. But this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. I know the risks. And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel from carrying Bro, out his plan. Bro, you can't just play this music and expect With me to not be emotional. With this power I can make a difference. If I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. And you, Fudola? Is this what you want? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. Damn. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Eldin gave you a chance to refuse. And you didn't. She's trying to be tough and cool. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. So the Empire's finished, is it? Well, that's what they're all saying. That the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. Oh, he did. And now, from out of its twitching carcass, crawls the Telophoroi with bloody Xenos at its head. Yeah, it don't make sense to me either, Busty. I know it's a mess. I fought for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. What was I part of? I need to know. Whatever it is. I need to know. Can't believe I'm supporting her right now. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. <laughs> Fist bump! Oh, look at the size difference. Oh, look at the boobies. Look at those boobies. Mm -mm. If you finished with your touching display of camaraderie, I have a question. Which tower are you planning to investigate exactly? Well, the one in Girabani is said to be tightly guarded. It's patrol after patrol out there, apparently. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near it. Which is why we've set our sights on the one in Pagalthan instead. There shouldn't be anything like as many Imperials to worry about down there. Even so, I doubt the local Amalja will look kindly on it if they catch you sneaking around in their territory. Fordola and I had a chance to learn the lie of the land in our previous forays there. We might still find trouble, but at least we won't lose our way. Sorry for yawning. Well, 
We'd best not keep them waiting any longer. Mayhap when all of this is over, we could take another trip to Loxeld. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. Oh, my little boogie boo. <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. Though, to be fair, getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. Take care, eh? Oh, for Alfino's sake, I hope nothing happens to Ehrenwald. Also for my sake, too, he thought. Goddamn, look at Verdola. Mm. It means a lot, you know. Oh, he's gonna die. Me. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, he's gonna fucking die. I'll still owe you for saving my skin, don't I? Can't return the favor if I'm not there. Oh, something bad's gonna happen. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I dare say you'll get your chance before oh, long. No. That Van Daniel sounds like a tricky customer. Too much this relaxing. This game anyway. and it's fucking foreshadowing? Nah, I don't trust it. I don't trust this one bit. I'm scared but as we hell. We both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a downside oh, with, more than that. With Alfino and then Pepper in I the shot I can't here. I hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light or Alfino for that matter. He might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people see in a lifetime. Oh, this is... Oh, oh. Mm, e -u -e -r. No. The fact is, I'm nothing like them, and maybe I never will be. But I'll be damned if I don't Aaron try. Vold! Oh. They're counting on me. On us. So let's give it our all. Chat. Oh, I love this. I'm so... What a strong start to 5.5, eh? Nah, I'm so fucked. I'm fucked. Nah, that cry count is gonna go boom, 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 boom. I can already see it. He does this? not want for conviction. That much That's is That's gonna sad. fuck me up. So let us have faith in him. Him and Fordola both. While they see to the towers, I would attend to another task. Chasing mm. down this lunar Bahamut. Yes, yes. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a call. Oh, bloody thing. Can you hear me? It's Tataru. Hello, Tataru. Oh, I'm happy to say we've managed to find Estinian. Perfect. Is and that easy? I'm sorry to say he went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. But... He did mutter something about heading to Ishgard, so if you're quick, you might still be able to catch him. Whenever the MSQ makes me go to Ishgard, my heart skips a beat. Even if we set out this instant, he may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send the Bonanza to Ishgard. It may prove useful should we need to give chase. I wanna go- oh. So we're going there and then maybe fleeing. Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Krile and I get back to the Rising Stones. Good luck. Thanks, Tataru. While you go off on your dragoon hunt, Urianje and I will return Not to headquarters. <laughs> we have much to tell the others. I wish you every success in your search for our elusive friend. May we all meet again ere long. I love that they give side characters more screen time. Me too. Me too. And that, though, makes me nervous. It makes me really scared when characters suddenly get a burst of screen time. Because it's like, okay, are you going to be important to the patch or are you going to die? You know? You know? Okay. Let's go. Let's go to Ishgard. And hopefully, I won't see daddy and I won't cry. Oh! Hey, Jay! I mean, sorry. Hello, Charles! What's up? Are you gonna... Are you gonna... Are we gonna quickly go collect some ether currents before I go to Ishgard? Is this gonna be the vibe? <laughs> can you... Can you hold me? Can I hop up? Let's go. Take me. Take me, take me, take me. Where are we going? Chop, chop! I don't wanna cry. 
Game's like, feeling great, are we? Back to Ishgard with you. Literally! Literally! Please open your map. I need to know which you need. Uh... Um... I don't know if this is helpful, Jason. <laughs> your compass? Oh, my compass. My compass, my compass, my compass, my compass. Collection? Southwest. Wait, where the fuck did he go? My compass. I'll give you some of this piss. Okay. Kenley! Thank you for the five gifted! I appreciate it! Every other gift is someone to come to your vegetables and you stay! Thank you! Bro, we just clipped through a bridge. Hello? I can't use it. It's not letting me. I think because I'm on you? I mean, because I'm... Because I'm... Because I'm... Because I'm... Because I'm... Because I'm... On your... On your mount. Because I'm... Because I'm mounted... <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm in a D&D &D game with him, and our friend um, got a horse named Charles, which was the name of his character. And I, um, <laughs> I was helping Charles, I was leading Charles, the horse, into a stable, and I don't remember what it was that I was saying, but I said, okay, I'm going to dismount Charles, and then... <laughs> And then they're like, you were mounted on Charles? And it was just a whole, it was just a whole thing. It was so good. It's so good. I love, I love my little D&D &D group so much. It's just chaos. And there's nothing that we love more than chaos. When everyone is flirting with each other. It's good. It's good shit. Okay, I think it's, it'd be, uh, is it done? Oh, it's not here! Down here. Down here, down here, down here, down here, down here, down here. I love D&D. &D. We have D&D &D tomorrow, and I am so excited. I f it feels like we haven't played in, I think, like, two weeks or something. Number one streamer all time ever? You're so right. You're so right. I am the number one streamer. 906 Yalms Northwest. And I refuse to believe otherwise. How can I dismount Charles? And he started off so innocent. Well, I was! I was innocent, Elise! I didn't know better! I didn't realize what was coming out of my mouth! And then Oz was just laughing like, Yes, my plan is working! <laughs> oh my god, Red. Oh no, you're gonna be busy. I was gonna say, you can hang out and listen to our D&D sesh, but I guess you can't. Wait, there are two Elises in your alliance raid? I'm so sorry, Emmy. Wait, when you say two two Lises, like, do you mean like there are two people like dressed up as Lise? Like two cosplaying -y Lises? Gonna be working the event? I know, I'm sad. I'm so sad. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, sorry, that's not what I wanted. What the fuck is this? 29 South. 29 south. I guess I could just like haul ass there myself. Let's see. It's probably down. Yeah, it's right here. Alrighty. And then the. N oh! Yes! Thank you. Now we can fly. I have the better mount though. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let me go back to uh, Alamigo. I have to for my quest anyways. Apparently. Do Elise? Do Elisa? No! That's hilarious. What is that? A Mohi Blink. 
The cat blink. He go, mm-hmm. He blink. Okay. Where is it here? Oh, it's somewhere back here, right? I think it was over here? Yeah. Eh, eh. 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 Huh? Huh? What do I do here? It says I've arrived at a vista. Can I like, can I look out like while I'm on this? I'm too lazy to, I'm too lazy to um. Oh, from the top? Oh, oh, like this. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh my God, wait. Do I have to jump? Can I just, okay. There we go. <laughs> I was like, why won't it let me? It wasn't letting me dismount, but we both. We're good, we're good. There's a lot of cosplayers tonight. Just saw a realm of Orianger and Ulda. Why are all the cosplayers out? What's going on? Who can pepper cosplay? I can, I can, I can, I can cosplay, um, um, like who can I cosplay without like changing my character? I don't know. Well, we all know that Jay can cosplay um, Meteor because he's literally the guy. Look at him. God, you're so tall. <laughs> you know what? Art imitates life. This is accurate. I think I'm like shorter on him though in real life. In real life, I think I, I think I fall like under here, I want to say. Something like that. I do kind of have a 2B vibe going on. I'm taller than Charles. Yeah, you are taller. So then, yeah. He's only six foot. I cannot believe. So wait, how tall are you again, Jay? You're like six, seven, six, four, six, one. I'm five, two. On a good day, I'm like five, three, five, four. Six, two or three? I believe six, three. I just round down to 6'2". Oh my god, you're the only guy I've ever met, Jay, that doesn't round up their height. Impressive. Uh, nice, uh, nice armor, by the way, you fucking little cosplayer. Wait, why am I... Wait. I still want to get better Dark Knight gear. I like it, but I can do better. I can do so much better. It's cute, though. It's so fucking cute. Here. Look at my baby. Look at my little baby. I love her little like skirt capey thing. It's cool. What? What glam should I wear, chat? Should I wear this one for the MSQ right now? Pepper's like usual garb? Ooh, should I wear this one? This one? This one? What's the vibe? This one? The Shadowbringers Crystarium glam? Let's see, the May <laughs> Pepper Maid fit? I could wear the red fit. Oh, I can wear the Ishgard fit. I'll wear this one for now, I guess. I'm, yes, you're right. I'm cosplaying Cyrus Spooks. You're so right. I should wear the Shadowbringers one. It is really cute, but I think if we're going to Ishgard, I want to wear this one for a little bit. Hey, Stingray, how are you? Hello? <gasps> Mommy? Who's who's fucking mommy? Oh my god, she's so hot. She's so hot. Alfie knows keen to track down Estinian. Here be dragons. So Sinian was bound for Ishgard. Whatever it is that brings him home, we must hope it will keep him there long enough for us to find him. Come, there's no time to lose. Okay. What? Are you looking at my boy? Oh, you're trying to call him over? Oh, you fed him? You fed my- you fed my little boy? Thank you. Thank you for feeding my little wind-up boy. Thank you, I appreciate that. You know, it still does kind of, um, make me uncomfy now that I know that these wind-up minions are canon. And, like, 100% when I am running around in Ishgard, people can see me and my dead husband. Oi, did you just kick him? Did you just kick Emmett? Hello? Are you kicking Emmett? Hey! That's not nice! Look, see, Orshavon's protecting him. Good boy. 
That's my baby. That's my good baby. Well, now it just looks like you're kicking Orshifon. What the fuck? I'm getting him out of here. <gasps> hey, Captain! Hello! How are you? What is up? How you doing? How you doing? Okay. Elfie no Wait, I want to speak to Mr. Graha. I have only visited Ishgard once before after the devastation of the Eighth Umbral Calamity. See the place in all its former- forgive me- in all its original glory is a tantalizing prospect indeed. Let's look at Alize. Assuming we find him, this will be my first encounter with the famous Astinian. And if he's half the man Alfino claims, I fully expect to go weak at the knees. Perhaps do a bit of fainting while I'm at it. Oh, <laughs> Alfino, what have you been saying about Astinian? <laughs> All present? Good. Let us split up and search for Estinian. Since we're relatively new to this place, Graha and I will look around the open spaces, the squares and markets and whatnot. You and Pepper can delve into the nooks and crannies. Very well. Let us reconvene at the airship landing later, with or without Estinian. Good luck. Sounds good! I think I shall begin at the Sky Steel Manufactory. So perhaps you could try the congregation? Luc Lucia may well have heard news of her friend's return. Okay! That's like up here, isn't it? Yeah. And both of them are Cyrus' dead, dead lovers. I know. Isn't that so sad? That's so fucking sad. Pepper, like, cannot get a single dub in this game. Every man that she falls in love with dies. I cannot believe Emmett is dead. I cannot believe he's already fucking dead. I sat here like, oh, maybe there's... Why do I recognize this bunny? This looks just like one of the, the bunnies that I flirt with in Cortania. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't- wait, I'm in the wrong place. It was like muscle memory going here. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Emma's dead. Like, already. I like, Loki, like, kind of miss him? Yeah, Pepper is fucking cursed. You kind of killed him. I know, but like, I can't believe that, like, he's dead. Do you know what I mean? Like, narratively, like, we- we killed him. Um, what was I gonna say, though? I was gonna say something. I don't know. I just- I miss him. Good evening to you, Warrior of Light. Lord Emmerich sent word that you would be attending the meeting in El Amigo, so I gather you have not come in search of him. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? I see. No, we were not aware Sir, Sir Estinian had returned to Ishgard. But as I expect you to remember, he is wont to come and go as he pleases. Mayap you came asking an audience with Lord Emmerich, only to find him absent? Oh. Gay? In any event, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Perhaps one of your companions has fared better. Oh, that came out weird. Sweet Alize at the airship landing. Alrighty. Let's go there then, babes. Ooh, someone come pet me chat? Nah. No thanks. I don't pet mangy animals. <laughs> I know I killed him, I just can't believe it worked. I, well, I can't! Look, he left me no choice. I had to kill him, and honestly, it was kind of sexy. Look, he was trying to kill me. I was trying to kill him. I like that shit. Spicy. It was spicy. Oh, hey. No, not, 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 uh, not, 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 Hey, Alize. Oh, I forgot. I was going to speak to Graha. Ooh. No luck. Mm -mm. No sign of him. Not that I've ever met him before, but the way Alphano goes on about him, I'm fairly sure I could pick him out in a crowd. Yeah, he's very pretty. He's hard. He's uh, very hard words, to miss. Speaking of it does seem awfully quiet. If the erstwhile Azure Dragoon had returned to Ishgard, would it not be a source of general excitement? Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, and First she do a the smile. Science coin keeper, and now oh, you. Oh, hey, he's not in rags anymore. I'm beginning to think these meetings are more than mere coincidence. God, he's so big. Not that I'm complaining. It's been too long. Oh. <laughs> Wrong one. Too long? 
You look an ilm taller and twice as rugged. It suits you, Alpha No. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Wrong one! Quieter, though. Have you been giving him lessons on how to be the strong, silent type? Oh no, 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 no. You're messing with the wrong. Oh no. Fuck him up. I am not. Alpha, no! <laughs> oh, my baby! <laughs> oh no! If the two of you are such firm friends, perhaps you should remember what he looks like. And what do you mean, rugged? I'm sorry, baby! Oh, had my brother mentioned what an oaf you are, I'd never have bothered looking for you in the first place. Miss Mayum! That's my girl! Estinian Wormblood. The Azure Dragoon. He who fought and felled the dread worm Nidhogg at the Warrior of Light's side. Yes, that is him. <laughs> to think the day would come when I should see this living legend with my own oh eyes. My. <laughs> would someone mind explaining what is going on? I'm sorry, Gramps. I'm so sorry. Is everything all right? I thought I heard Alize shouting. Just let them have the Estinian. Estinian, it's been too long. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's probably not going to be as excited to see you now. <laughs> Incredible. No, Saren, thank no, you for the it's raid. Quite understandable. That was hardly the first time we've been confused for one another. Nor, I suspect, will it be the last. <laughs> well, I, for one, will not be making that mistake again. Mm -mm. What I will say, for the second time today, is that you've grown inside and out. I can tell. I don't think I've ever seen a Stinian be this soft before. One can't from, remain a spoiled um, little lordling forever, you know. At least he's self-aware. No, I haven't seen a Stinian this um soft since what's uh, At least what's someone's her having a good time. Oh, well, baby girl. You know, when we were growing up, Alphano would never befriend other boys because he couldn't stand the thought of not being in charge. But maybe that's changed. He seems just as happy around Astinian as he does Arenvald. Sounds a little bit fruity, if you ask me. Saren, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, friends. My name is Sarah. I'm a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. We are chucking through 5.5 tonight. Welcome. Get comfy. I am having a drink, and y'all should join me. Perhaps he, seems that he sees them as the brothers he never had. I think he learned how to talk with people rather than at them. Well, you can't keep them all to yourself forever. I'm gonna go with the middle one. I wouldn't be so sure. He still loves nothing better than the sound of his own voice. <laughs> no rest for the righteous, eh? Speaking of which, I was just on my way to borrow an airship to take me to Azisla. Hmm? Azisla? How could I forget? The dragon with whom Bahamut shared the deepest of bonds. I, Tiamat, his mate. Even now she remains in prison. Oh my god, she's Azisla, still there, right? Though her remorse binds her faster than any shackle. I see. As the one who first summoned Bahamut. You believe she may be able to shine some light on his latest incarnation? Might I suggest that we make the journey to Azislar together? I'm not sure if Tataru mentioned this, but we Scions have an airship of our own now. Yeah, the Badonkaru. The, the I see Badonka. no reason why not. The Bazanga? Assuming your sister can bear the thought of sharing a deck with me. Be my oh. guest. But confuse me with Alphano again, and I'll throw you overboard. <laughs> I love her so much. He said, all right, bet. Ugh. I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's nothing like Alphano painted him to be. <laughs> Ellie, is I be so will admit, he is not exactly as I imagined him either. Based on what I had read of the man, I think I was expecting someone a little less... blunt? 
Not everyone can be sweet and charming like you. The Bazonga. I don't remember the name of it. The Badoinky? The Bagonza. The Bagonga. The Badoinks. It's something like that, right? The Bazonga? Like, Bazonga sounds right. I feel like it was called the Bazonga. The Bonanza. Okay. Okay, the Bonanza. That's it. Hey, look! Okay, I was on the right track, alright? I was really close. I almost had it. Okay, let's speak with Ellie Zangraha and Estinian. Not to complain, but I didn't expect to find myself here again quite so soon. So this is the Delta Quadrant, where countless dragons hit lie imprisoned. There's a great Tiamat among them. Tiamat summoned Bahamut once before. She may have again, willfully, or no. Here we go. It has been quite some time since I last set foot in Asisla, but I understand the three of you were here rather more recently. I don't suppose you chanced to meet Tiamat during your meet with Tiamat during your visit. No. Alas not, we had no cause to set foot here in the Delta Quadrant, but I have studied the relevant records, which is not to say I wouldn't appreciate a first hand account of her dealings with her. Well then, Pepper's the person to ask. As far as I know, she's the only one of us to have met Tiamat face to face. Even now, she remains a prisoner of the Allegan Empire. Let's just say it helped that Midgard Summer was there to introduce me. Let's let's go with that one. Ah, yes, you are a friend of her father. I too have met with Tiamat. After the Dragon Song War came to a close, I came here to speak with her, a worm who had fought her own war against man in another age. I wish to know if she had, har she, if she yet harbored thoughts of vengeance and asked as much. He said no. My hatred for your kind was extinguished long ago. But the guilt she feels for resurrecting, for resurrecting Bahamut burns undimmed. It torments her, even now. I see. Then your original reason for coming here was out of concern that Tiamat had been forced to summon Bahamut. Nidhogg is the part of me. I feel his emotions as my own, and I know that he would not allow his sister to be made to, to be made a tool of evil. In his absence, it falls to me to watch over her. Oh, that's kind of sexy. I'm not gonna lie. Pizza, quiche, potato salad. Oh, hold on. These all sound so good. I'm gonna get the salad. It's just stat buffs, but I want the salad! <laughs> I want a potato salad! I know, all this game does is flashbang me. We need a flashbang, flashbang uh, commands at this point. Fake Italian? Oh, I'm sorry, did you want me to get the pizza? Mm, I should have, actually. Wait, I think I have pizza on me. <gasps> I do. I have 47 pizzas on me, so eat my ass. Righteous indignation. Cindy is ready to lead the way to Tiamat. So we gotta wait. This way. Is it brother's hero? Hyru? Hello! Did y'all eat before stream? I had only a little bit of ramen. I got ramen for me and Avriel, and I'm sad that I didn't get to eat more. You know what? I'm gonna swap out of the Ishgard gear now. Let's see... Oh, I can't even... I can't! I'll just swap to Reaper then, and it'll give me new gear. Is that the spaghetti I gave you? I think so. Unless I ate it. Alright, let's see. So we gotta go this way. Up here. Oh yeah, oh I love how the music changes the second you get here. Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I'm getting emotional, holy shit. That's a theme I haven't heard in a while too. My sire is mortal companion. What bringeth thee back to this forsaken place, child of man? <laughs> it's plain she knows naught of recent events. Perhaps you should enlighten her. Ah, 
Good job, Pepper. Ah, <sighs> that my sins should be repeated. I sense not the faintest stirring. As to, who, as to who could have called him forth, I know of none save the dragons of Mericidia, our children. The icon claimed their souls when first he manifested, and robbed of their will, they became tools of the Allegan's dark designs. I've seen it with my own eyes. Captives of a lost empire, neither alive nor dead, existing only to preserve Bahamut's corporeal form. <laughs> similar to the coils, right? Yes, the dragons of Mericidia are at the mercy of this Asian. There can be no other explanation. Ash and I die by now. Accursed Asians! Vile minions of darkness. Again, you would profane the memory of my beloved and strip our children of their freedom, their dignity. Are there no depths to which you will not stoop? That's so sad. Can't believe they nerfed his lips. Your children's pain means nothing to them. They laugh at your kind suffering. T. But tears will not right this wrong, nor will lamentation see the perpetrators punished. I still can't believe that's Astinian's voice. It just does not suit him, but like, I love it. You know, pretty boy with a deep voice. Good shit. What wouldst, th what wouldst thou have for me, slayer of dragons? Behavior befitting a great worm. Okay, daddy, chill, holy. We came here. To ask mighty Tiamat of the first brood, consort of Bahamut, mother of the dragons of Mericidia, what she intends to do about the crimes committed against her children. Look, you're all coiled up. There's nothing you can do. Were I free, I would answer thine insolence with fire, but words shall have no. Uh, w but words shall have to suffice. Recall, mortals, that it was I who did who did first summon my beloved, praying with all my being to bring him forth. You would contend with icons. You who contend with icons cannot well be ignorant of the consequence. You too were exposed to his influence. That you are yet in possession of your own will is testament to the indomitable strength of your soul. But were you to meet with Bahamut again, you fear you might succumb. I keep yawning, I'm so sorry. Earth, snow, 
Indeed, ask the Dragon Slayer, and he will tell thee the power we of the First Brood wield. Were I to were I to lose myself to the Icon's influence, all would pay the price. Holy shit, my entire leg just fell asleep. Hold on, chat. Oh my god. I hate it when my legs fall asleep. It hurts so much. I hate that feeling. Like, you know when you have to, like, move your leg at some point, and, like, all your, like, like all the feeling comes back like at a like it's like a rush that feeling hurts me so much it's so painful oh my god oh my god I'm here now I'm crossing my legs good boy like static static legs I've never heard it be called static legs before oh my god my leg fell asleep sitting on the toilet earlier today. Oh no, that fucking blows. Yeah, I can't sit cross-legged anymore because of my arthritis. It hurts too, too, too much. Alright, we're chilling out. We're good. Oh my god, I keep yawning. I'm so sorry. I promise I'm not tired. I've just been up all day. But it is of little matter. For even had I the strength to resist, I yet lack the strength to break my shackles. This prison shall be my tomb. Aww. Are we all thinking the same thing? On the matter of Bahamut's influence, at least, I believe we can be of some assistance. If you're afraid of being enthralled, don't be. We have a cure. And while we've never tried it on one such as you, its basic principles are universal. Speakest thou in earnest? There is no future for those bound to the past. That you committed a terrible sin, I do not dispute. But if you feel remorse, you may yet make amends. We offer you that chance. Take it, or you will forever remain a prisoner. Not of these cruel shackles, but of your own guilt. Sahaan says so in Bahamut. A chance to make amends, to lay Bahamut's memory to rest. When our own star faced annihilation, Eidolon granted a sanctuary, and now your foes would bring about her destruction. This I cannot allow. For the debt I owe to Eidolon, and to all who have suffered for my sins, I shall fight with you, children of man. Damn, was that easy, eh? Alright. Oh, he do a smile. Nidhogg do a smile. Nidhogg feels peace. It would seem she still has some pride after all. Let's see if she's as good as her word. Speak to Mr. Tia. While pork seeds have been shown to be effective in curing the tempered, Tiamat must be considered a special case. She is far, far larger and immeasurably more powerful than any subject th treated thus far. Were we to remove her restraints only to find that the process had failed, we would be hard pressed to contain her. Then, before going ahead, we should learn as much as we can about the exact nature of her condition. Do you suppose we can find that information here? Why, yes, we can. We can indeed. 
The Allegans kept detailed records on all of the notable captor notable captives, and I know exactly where to look. Chat, why am I so tired? Oh my god, I want to curl up so bad, but I want to play this. We should leave that to you then. In the meantime, the rest of us can turn our thoughts to the removal of those shackles. I know Alfie know Pepper here well enough, but not you. Are you sure are you ready to see this through? Rest assured, Sir Astinian, that I am both ready and willing to give my all for the sake of the star. Though that is not my only reason for wanting to set Tiamat free. While I do not claim to know all of her sorrows, I too once found myself in a prison of despair. And I well understand how hard it can be to dare to, dare to dream of escape. It took the encouragement of braver souls that I am to make me... It took the encouragement of braver souls than I am to make me take the first steps... Was that thunder? Towards a brighter future. And now I would help Tiamat do the same. I gather you're not as young as you look. Yep, when I work here, then we could trade tales over a pot of Tatari's famous tea. And be indebted to her for the leaves and hot water? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> I see. <clears throat> it's already suited to the task at hand, then. I believe the nodes governing Tiamat's restraints are located in the sector known as the flagship. Ah, oh, yes, we're familiar with it. The Etherochemical Research Facility, in particular. No! Get me away from there! Do not let me go anywhere near that place! Oh, you may wish to take this. The spirit vessel, containing a small amount of my blood. Can I wear it around my neck? That's kind of hot. Would you just happen to be carrying around with you? <laughs> As he does. Isn't that could seem rather odd? To explain, Rambros, Rionja, and I are researching the use of spirit vessels and the transference not only of memories, but the traits of certain bloodlines. And so I keep one at the ready should an opportunity to test our theories arise. Okay, interesting. As for his use to you, you may recall that during our previous visit, the nodes here granted access to restricted, func to restricted functions, having identified me as being of royal blood. And armed with that spirit vessel, I put, I posit, I posit, I posit, yeah, I posit that they will do the same for you, even in the absence of, well, the rest of me. It seemed worth a try, at least. That's actually not a bad idea. Agreed. We'll take good care of it. Not bad. Jonah Jude, thank you so much for the prime sub. I prime sub. Oh my god, for three months resub. I appreciate it. God, I maybe I am tired. Dehydrated? No, I'm not dehydrated. I'm just yeah. I mean, redoing the room and going to IKEA and stuff definitely knocked me out. There is no way I just spilled that on my boobs. There is no way I just got that in my titties. It dripped out of my mouth and onto my titties. <laughs> not the not the lick I love that emote so much it's so fucking funny it's so good what is it licka yeah <laughs> graha awkward awkward friend making it's an awkward joke making results miscommunication and confusion silly boys I I love it I love it they're just silly little sweet babies Alex and I shall remain here oh right they're staying here so me and Alfie now are going to the flagship Insert inappropriate comment here. Excuse me, what inappropriate comment could you possibly make? Gotta grow a beard to catch food before it falls in your chest? True. Well, that's what my big titties are for. I do be having a little bit of a beard, though. Oh, wait, speak with Wedge at the Ether Chemical Research Facility? Okay, I guess I can just, like, get two two missions done here, then. I just saved my- I just shaved my stash? Hell yeah. I tweezed my beard earlier today. Felt pretty good about it. Man, I hate Azizlaw. Law. I hate navigating around here. It's so ugly. The music bangs, but like, it's hideous. Oh my god, the pussy. The music is good, but like, this shit is so ugly, and it feels like it takes eons to get anywhere. Because there are so many like, highs and lows, you know? Alright, where the fuck is Wedge? God, you're so small, I can barely see you. Oh, 
And I have to examine a teleporter? Nah, I'm good. I'm fucking good. We're gonna go do the MSQ. Is the best sound in heaven's where the music is awesome? The music is good, but I just hate navigating it. Haircut and trim of the face got me feeling naked. You look so good, though! But you look so good. Yeah, I guess, like, that does make you feel kind of naked. I, I get that. I understand. You got no more fuzz. You don't have as much fuzz as you used to have. I know, when I saw um, Vlad today, he shaved, and I was like, who the fuck? He looked so naked. He's wearing his little glasses, and he had no beard and little stash. Wild. Let's load up and search the flagship for the node that controls Tiamat's restraints. But you find the likely candidate, do not pretend to make any adjustments. It would not do to... It would not do to accidentally release some manner of experimental monstrosity, nor unless Tiamat herself in her current state. Our objective at this stage is simply to identify the relevant node or nodes. Once we have learned what we can do, or what we can, we should reconvene and compare notes prior to proceeding. My goal is to become Cousin It. I'm already halfway there, honestly. With the amount of hair I have on my head, at the very least, whoo-wee! I like clean shaven though, you do? Facial hair is too scratchy. my dad had a slash has a stash. And I hate getting kids from as a kid. Oh, I love facial hair. I love it so much. I love playing with it and I love feeling it. It does like tickle. I cannot deny that, but I just, oh, oh, I love it. Bzz. Friction between metallic components detected. Temperature increasing to critical levels. Please replace damaged parts or, or retreat to a safe distance. Okay, so I guess not you. Oh, hey, Asinian. Let's talk to us, Dinian. Let's see what he has to say. These nodes, or whatever it is to call them. Why do they quiver so? Just like my pussy, babes. Got one good look at you and everyone starts trembling. Clamorous node, hello. Yip bloop. Warning. Scheduled dragon restraint maintenance due in negative 2,020 years. Failure to verify system integrity may result in unscheduled specimen release. Oh, fuck no! Nah, 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 nah. Keep that bitch locked up. Okay, is there gonna be one more up here, perchance? Yes. Obstrep. Obstrep. Obstreperous node. Kerr! Data link with Delta Quadra broken. Possible cause intruder interference. Advise deployment of automated com combat units. Proceed. Okay. SP Alfino. Alright. And he was he's done here? Okay. What the Sphinx? God, some of the creatures here are so sick. Alright. Let's speak with Estinian first. I wish I did this before. I wish I I like spoke to NPCs more. NPCs that weren't Orishafa. Infernal things. One of them has sent a swarm of mechanical vilekin to plague me. I must have angered it. Oh no. And first and I have little to show for our efforts. Did you find anything? I did. A note that smelled like burnt hair. Yes. A chirruping, a chirruping, a chirruping, a chirruping node was, which spontaneously warned me about neglecting the dragon restraints. I, uh, found a way to activate mechanical sentries, if that's any help. Yeah, we'll go with the second one. Spontaneously, you say? Well, that does sound promising. Almost suspiciously so, in fact. But then you were in possession of the spirit vessel. Hmm. I dare say it is indeed the note of which Graha spoke. And it was trupping, you say? Very well. Let's take a closer look. Chirruping? Chirping? Chirruping? What the fuck does that mean? Haha, <laughs> negative 2020, I just got what the node said. I don't get it. Is it because this came out in 2020? Or, no, this did not come out in 2020. Endwalker came out in... No, Endwalker did not come out in 2020. Endwalker came out last year. Wait, did it come out last year? No, when did Endwalker come out? No, Endwalker came out two years ago. I have no... Oh, the patch came out in 2020. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, that checks. That tracks. That's what I thought. But I was like, is this like a real world reference? I also have no concept for time anymore. 
literally, yeah, it was in 2021. Yeah, that's when I started playing this game. Because I remember I started playing this game two weeks before Endwalker came out. And I really thought, I really, really, really thought that I could catch up to Endwalker in two weeks. Boy, was I a fucking fool. Bleep. Do you wish to operate the Dragon Restraint mechan 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 mechanisms? Bleep bloop. You do not have the requisite access privileges. Operation of the Dragon Restraint mechanisms may only be undertaken by the chief technologist and members of the royal family. Well, 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 it's a good thing I have his blood on me. Or those with a vessel full of royal blood, perhaps. News are detected. Commencing biometric authentication. Bloop! Authentication complete. User identified as member of the royal family. Please state your name. Peppermint. Alfino Levio. Assyrian Wormblood. Peppermint. Bloop! Welcome, Peppermint. You may operate the dragon restraint mechanisms when ready. The goofy music is playing. I'm scared. Bloop, bloop. Error. Unable to disengage return to the specimen Tiamat. This is some update is required. <laughs> okay, relatable. Me with my fucking nano leaves earlier? A system update? What do you suppose it is asking of us? I could hazard a guess. To smash it to pieces. Now that I do understand. You can go first. User agitation detected. Initiating guidance program. Boop. In order to operate the restraint mechanism, I require access to central control system. However, I am unable to establish a link to said system due to the, obs the obsolence of my own software. Did I say that right? This issue can be resolved by applying a system update using the corresponding terminal located within the flagship. So can this thing release those chains or not? It can, but only once it has received the, requ the requisite system update, as far as I can tell. Until which time it'll float there spewing nonsense? User dissatisfaction detected. Initiating, uh, pulsation? Yeah. I don't know. Protocols. Bloop! I'm here to help. Rest assured that I will be on hand to guide you through every step of the system update process. It's giving placay? Placay? Placation? Placation. The, 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 the shorter word is playing in my head, but I can't say it out loud. It's one of, it's another, it's another one of those words that I just cannot say. Also, it's giving Siri, and I'm hating it. I'm hating every second of this. Not even Siri, it's giving Megan! It is literally giving Megan. And I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. If I ever in my entire life... If I ever get to a point in my adult career where I end up having AI in my home helping me with my, like, everyday, like, garbage, I will actually... Nah. Nah. Put me in the middle of a forest with a campfire and an axe, and I will I will make it through the night. I would rather that than have AI guide me. I'm so scared of AI. AI makes me so uncomfortable, which is ironic because like I use tech for all of my stuff. But like, miss me with Alexa, miss me with Siri. I don't want that shit anywhere near me. True. Just give me Wi-Fi and I'm chilling. And I'm chilling. How gratifying. But I dare say it will fare better with guidance than without it. Well, we're done. Alrighty. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to turn down the heat because it's very warm in my home. And then we will continue with the MSQ. So I'll see you guys in about... Four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Really quick. See you in a second.
Okay, hello? Wait, are we talking food? What's going on? What did I miss? Is Red getting foodie? Is the big baby getting food? Oh, and I'm getting head pads, hell yeah. I have to fix my lips. I ate a little bit of ramen while I was AFK. I'm so sorry. It was just so yummy. I couldn't help it. And so apparently the heat isn't on. My home is just hot. Well, you know what? Probably because there's also these lights now and it's like burning up. And Lebanese pita bread and garlic sauce. Uh, Kelsey? And you're not sharing with the class? Look, I'm trying to put on lip- Oh my god, my skin is so yellow today. Because of the smoothie and coffee I had. But, I'm trying to put on my lipstick. But there's like oil and broth all over my mouth. It's not sticking. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. Let's keep on going, shall we? Ooh, some carne asada fries. Oh my god, same. You know what? I still need to get my, my revenge quesadillas. I cannot believe I did not get no fucking quesadillas last night. That broke my heart up. I cannot believe that. So I'm gonna... Well, I can't obviously order any in these conditions, but... Soon. For vengeance! The restrainment node stands poised to lend a hand, figuratively speaking. Bloop! Guiding user terminal. This way, please. Let's go, bestie. Righty. Going this way. Is it here? No, it's further. But it's down, though. To where? Over here? No, right below us. Down here? In here! Yes, the flagship. Oh, hello, Vosk! It's little Vosk! Oh, Vosk! Look at that little... Look at that little belly button. Look at those abs! Okay, girl, I see you! I see you, bestie! I see you, bestie. Am I where I'm supposed to be? I am. Okay. Let's see. According to the terminal, the central control system is presently employing software version 56.135. Did I ask which version you are employing? Why? Software version 42.00, of course. Bloop bloop. Warning. Errors detected in the data management center or system. Estimated time required for updates? Five years, one day. Girl, we do not have that kind of time on our hands. That is rather longer than we were hoping. Aren't there any other options? For instance, using this terminal to operate TMS restraints instead? Bloop. The proposed method is indeed an option. Please be warned, however, that the procedure may have changed as a result of the system update, and my instructions may no longer be accurate. Well, I can't imagine it will have changed all that much. As long as we pay due attention to any discrepancies, I dare say we shall be able to muddle our way through. Don't bother trying to explain. Just tell me if we've made any progress. I would say so, yes. It does, however, require that I, am that I remain here to operate the terminal. I shall inform you via Link Pearl once I'm ready to release the shackles. It might be best if you left the spirit vessel with me. I may yet have use for it. Rest assured, I will be certain to return to Grahatia once this is over. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. Just a little more work and Tiamat will be free. Before we go any further, there is something I would know. When Tiamat and her kin fought against the Alagan Empire, both sides were, bu were but dancing to the tune of the Asians, And it was the same in Ishgard, where they stoked the fires of conflict between man and dragon from the shadows. Oh my god, Pepper's face looks so pissed! All that the Asians touched turned to ash, turns to ash, and thus have you made it your mission to fight them. But there have been times when you tried to reach out to them instead, to find common ground. 
And so I must ask, what do you intend to do with Fun Daniel? We try and reach out to him too? No, he doesn't have the same energy that Emmett had, honestly. Oh, enemy or no? I want to understand him. I will try, yes, and if that fails, I'll remember him. Oh! Oh! Right there, in my angina! Certainly, after I've wiped the smile off his face. Okay, that is funny, but I'm gonna go with this one. I will kill him and I will remember him, bestie. <laughs> There's no point in reasoning with the wretch, or remembering him for that matter. Perhaps that's the difference between you and me. You see the good in people, even if it be but the faintest glimmer. I only hope you do not come to rude your benevolence. You think us unwise for viewing the world thus? Far from it. There has ever been your way. That has ever been your way, as I learned when we journeyed together with Iceheart. That was her fucking name. Iceheart, Isail, and Shiva. Those were the names I was thinking of. Well, it's Isail that I couldn't fucking remember. I kept wanting to call her Shiva earlier. If the fact remains that there are some who view compassion as a weakness to be exploited, and there may come a time when you extend the hand of friendship only to wish that you had dealt the killing blow. So, save your mercy for those who deserve it. Well, we should be getting back to our task. If Alfino has things in hand here, I suggest we join the others. Well. Well. Hey, Sarah, thank you for letting me hang out with my friend again. I'm enjoying my time with him. Tisk, 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 tisk. You're welcome. Daycare is over. Y'all can have your child again. But don't worry, I'll be scooping him. <laughs> I'll be scooping him soon. Is that what you're here for? Are you just here to tease Red? You're not even here for me? Wow! And to think I bonded with you over Bollywood Cross? To think I thought of you as my brother? I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah, get the fuck out. Go! Scram! Get out of here. Alright, so we're gonna go find Alize now. Alize and Mr. Grahatia. I literally, like, it's so funny seeing Pepper just floating around the balloons because, like, I can hear them, like, popping or, like, whatever that little sound effect is. And it's just really cute. It's so fucking goofy. I feel like I should be using my chocobo again, but I just... I paid! I paid good money for this mount! I want to use it, you know? It really be your own. It be your own. Pepper go, wee. Okay. So they're still up here, I think, right? Yeah, that's what it looks like. So the spirit vessel proved useful after all? Excellent. If this friend Daniel truly is without reason or creed, he is no better than a rabid dog. Try them if you must, but be ready to do what is necessary. Rot vibes, let's see how this goes, yeah? Hey Brave! Thank you, happy Friday to you too, bestie. I see in Solmiel as well, but nothing more. Honestly, it's like getting blood out of a stone with him. I take it from Alfino's absence that he's needed elsewhere? Well, that all sounds rather frustrating, but you got there in the end. When we were off talking to Nodes, Graha and I were learning as much as we could about Tiamat's condition. Tiamat's condition. Tiamat. 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 Go it. Our readings confirm that her ethereal balance leans strongly towards the umbral, as was the case with the kobolds. Therefore, all other things being equal, the treatment should work. The difficulty lies in the sheer quantity of ether with which we must contend. Multiple applications of the treatment will inevitably be required if we are to reverse the effects of the tempering completely. Meaning I'll need all the ether I can get. Thank you in advance. Although this endeavor will ask much of us, we do have one reason to be optimistic, namely that Tiamat shows no signs of fanatical devotion, suggesting a milder case of tempering than, the, than that suffered by the kobolds. Hmm. Tiamat saw Bahamut as an equal rather than a god. Might that have made a difference? 
Now that you mention it, it very well might. She would not have believed it necessary to defer, her, to, defer to his will. But enough talk. It's time to put our theories to the proof. I tell Alfino, tell Alfino to disengage the restraints. Tell Alfino to disengage the restraints ethereal dampers. I'm counting on you, Angelo. I love the name of this fucking pig is Angelo. Something about that is just, it's just so cute. It's so cute. I love that it's a porksy too. Like it's just, it's so, it's so random. Ah, such warmth. The frost that shroudeth my soul doth begin to thaw. What are these? Visions of days long forgotten? Of war with the men of Alec? Wherefore do such baleful memories return to me now? Could it be that the process of restoring her soul is to, to its pre-tempered state is awakening ancient memories? Or might the opposite be true? If so, by helping her to recall her the past, we may be able to speed her recovery. Pepper, she trusts you. Speak to her. Ask her to tell you of times past. Um, tell me of Bahamut and the Asians. Ah, Bahamut, my beloved. Would that the peace found in, Mer in Mericidia could have lasted for eternity. But alas, it was not to be. The Asians saw to that. In all creation, I know of none more wicked. It was at their behest that the men of Alec first came unto Mer Mericidia, unto our home. My brother in Christ, please! The tale began when Bahama and I left our father's side. You know, I can't judge. I don't think... I don't think it's right for me to judge incest in dragons, right? <laughs> Wait, I didn't. I don't think I finished reading that. Whatever. Beyond the southern ocean, we discovered a lush and f we discovered a lush and fertile land. It would come to be known as Mericidia by the children of men, though many years were to pass before they crossed the seas. Upon our arrival, we were welcomed by the peaceful people of the forest, kin to the trees. Surrounded by nature's bounty, Bahama and I had found place to raise our young. Please! Fascinating. This correlates with the writings of the Charlian scholar Rurusha. She posits, posits that man first settled on the southern continent towards the end of the second astral era. Correctly, it would appear. If only she were with us to hear the tale from Tiamat herself. Again, Angelo. I like physically have to look away every time I get flashbanged. It's actually so bad. When first the children of man arrived on our shores, no foot did they set in those no foot did they set in those places over which we held dominion. Such was their fear of dragonkind. And as they kept their distance, so did we so did we let them be. Yet as the days went by, ship after ship appeared upon the horizon, bearing even more of their brethren, who divided the vast land amongst themselves. For a time, they knew peace and prosperity. But as their numbers grew, the smaller their share came to seem, and soon they began to covet the territory of their, fo of their fellows. Ere long, man fought man, blood was answered with blood, and none could see an end to the strife. Until, one day, they came to us. Recognizing our wisdom, they entreated... To, uh, they entreated us to intercede in their conflicts. Oh my god, I cannot speak. They entreated us to intercede in their conflicts. Bahamut agreed, and with him presiding over the affairs of men, the land knew peace once more. Alas, those golden days of harmony, too, were fated to the end, or fated to end, for the men of Alex slew my beloved. And I, in my rage and sorrow, heeded the envenomed words of the Asians. For us, thou knowest only too well. Oh, baby girl. You're good, you're good, you did it. But your tale doesn't have to end there. When you are free, we'll rid the world of the Asians together. And you and your beloved will have justice. Oh, busty. Fine sentiments, but you're almost spent. I'll keep watch from above. If the treatment fails, run.
Ugh. Thanks for the vote of... Ugh. Woo! Thanks for the vote of confidence. I swear when this is over. You know, fucking cuff him. Keep going, Alize. The magic is working. But she's spent! <sighs> well, I knew this wasn't going to be easy. No patient could have prepared me for treating a great worm. But we're close. I can feel it. And while I've only got a few more drops of ether left to give, with yours and Graha's, this will work. And I believe I speak for both of us when I say that you may take as much as you require. Careful, I might hold you to that. Alright, here I go. Another cutscene. Okay, here we go. Is this one going to be voiced? I'm, I have a spicy feeling about this. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe? Perhaps? I think? Yes? Right in the butt. <laughs> She looks like me trying to push out of shit. You got this girl. Ooh! Is that us? Are we fueling the baby? Yes! Fuel the baby! <laughs> Give her the juicies! Come on, Alize, you got this. You got this, baby girl. This is it, Angelo. Oh, he do a sore. Ooh! Damn! Razzle dazzle! Did it work? Elise, please pardon. Mm, meek as die. Yes, I feel it. The icon's grip groweth weak. Yes! No more gorilla grip! Work. We won't know for certain until the shackles are removed. All right, here we go. I'm nervous. I don't know why. I'm just nervous. I feel like this is going to go south so fast. Answer me this, children of men. Can my kindred be saved in like manner? Many have been subjected to the Allegan's dark arts. Their flesh irrevocably altered. For such tortured souls, I fear there can be no salvation. I don't like the sound of this. He's not gonna um, like that. Okay. My children. Slusk and or fall prey on. Slusk save soul in. Should you hearken unto my call, we shall fly together once more. But should you not, I shall grant you peace. Mm, of a ten. Mm, One I Please a an do old Better to die than live as a tool of evil. You too would wish this, I know, and I shall do as I must. When that time comes, you won't be alone. We'll stand by you. I would love to see Tiamat take down Lunar Bahamut. Could you imagine them just like dueling it out? And imagine they give me a duty to play as her or some shit? That would be wild. She's in a Thou hast my gratitude, little one. Chat, I swear to god, if you're horny right now. You're fucking ready. bricked up! It's time. Tisk tisk. Down horrendous. Do it. 
And let's hope the treatment worked as it should. Here we go. Oh yeah, now you know what it's like to get fucking flashbanged, eh? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, she's free. Oh, she's huge. Oh, she's gorgeous. Bahamut, my beloved. Urjas. Urasa. For vengeance and atonement, I rise. And she gone. By the gods! She's so pretty. Look at her. Look at her little toes. She got little feet. Urianje, your timing could not be better. Or worse. Oh. Understood, we're on our way. Oh no. The music stopped. It's Bahamut, he's been sighted over Pagolthan. Fuck. He flies for the largest amount of settlement in the region, at the head of a vast host, including dragons. Oh. Did you hear all that, Alpha? No. You'd best rejoin your comrades. I'll make my own way. My god, the drama, the drama, the drama. Our enemy awaits. Shall we? Is he gonna ride her? Oh. No, they are- Oh! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my Dentist? I am not horny for poo? You know what? I don't want to know what the context is. You know what? I don't want to know. You know, I really don't want to know. I'm here to ogle the red cop- the red cat boy? Yeah, me fucking too. Me fucking too. And I actually- I have Dragoon at level 90. Thank you very much. I'm a level 90 Dragoon. Thanks. I'll have you know. I don't want to hear no no peppermint slander. Alright. Let me go back to Dark Knight. Well, I'm sure you're desperate to join Estinian and Tiamat in battle. It would be wise to gather the full strength of the Scions first. The foe we face demands no less. Ooh, pineapple salad? Curry? No, oh, I'm gonna take some money this time. With the Lunar Bahamut bound for Paglathan, is that what they called it? Grahatia is determined to recall upon the aid of your fellow Scions. The drama. Do Asinian and Tiamat know that though? They fucking better know that. Pepper wears little badges that say every class that it reached 90, okay? <laughs> As a monk main, no one should play monk. I think, isn't, isn't Jin also a monk main? What's up with cat boys and being monk mains? This is like a thing. It's a thing that I don't know about. I have already sent word to the others. We are to rendezvous in Ulda at the Hall of Flames. Let's collect Alfino and be on our way. Collect him. My legs are so itchy, chat. The tights that I'm wearing are like not comfy. Oh, was someone listening? Is someone there? Oh no, they're just showing us the empty uh thing of a bop. 
da na na na. I still want to level my Black Mage. I'm now working on Gunbreaker, Sage, and Black Mage. Sage is almost at level 80. It's at level 77, I think. Slowly getting through some more, uh, some more classes. Very, very slowly. Oh, is Monk, like, difficult on the controller? Yo! They TP'd me here?! Bro, this game is so sexy. This game is so fucking sexy right now. Holy shit. I love this. They didn't make me do it myself? Unheard of. Now, I know some of you could do with the rest, but I'm sorry to say uh, the tele tele telephory. Telephory. Telephory? Was it telephory? Did I say it right? Telephory? Telephore? Telephore. I don't know. I have other plans. Uh, Plaglathon is already under siege. Da -na 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 -na. Pepper looks so just fed up. Telephori, 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 is that it? Telephori, 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 telephori. Happily, the immortal flames arrive just in time to defensive effort. To join the defensive effort with Marshall Tarrapin at their head! Yes! Pippin! Well now, given the failure of their peace negotiations, I am uncertain how the Sultanate would respond. It is good to hear that Ulda has not abandoned the Amalja. Abandoned them? Did we not profess to be their friends? Wait, Master Tarpin is Pippin, right? Just double checking. Telophori, 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 Telophori. Am I getting it right now? I think I am. I think that's right. That sounds right. Telophori. The Telophori. Okay. I will forget this. I will forget this immediately. Your Grace! Marshal Tarpin had has made provisions for such an exigent and was ready to depart at a moment's notice! All that was required was the agreement of the syndicate, each of whom voted in favor of intervention. Nor is Ulda alone in its resolve. The other Alliance nations have likewise dispatched their troops to Paglathon. Yet even with our combined strength, we shall be sorely tested, for we face not only the might of an Imperial Legion, but Lunar Bahamut and his Draconic Horde besides. Tiamat's children. Quite as we may, victory is by no means assured, but not all of the omens are grim. Our forces report that despite their proximity to Lunar Bahamut, None of the Amalja show any signs of tempering. Strange, but Primal would turn down a chance to claim new thralls. Unless it is incapable of doing so? Primals are not wont to serve a master, Asian or otherwise. It may well be that Lunar Bahamut differs in some fundamental manner from those who we have previously encountered. If that were true, anyone could fight him, and Pepper and others like her wouldn't have to shoulder the burden alone. Be that as it may, Lunar Bahamut remains an incalculably powerful foe, whom our soldiers will struggle to best through mere force of arms. Ooh, I said that whole sentence weird. You gotta put a comma in there somewhere, bestie. With the aid of the Scions, however, I believe they will fare rather better, assuming, that is, you're ready to take the field. An airship waits to bear you to the front, Pray set forth as soon as you are able. Yes, ma'am! Is it dungeon time? Is it dungeon time? Thither will- Oh my god, no, 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 no. No. Thither is literally the worst word that has ever graced my presence. I, meanwhile, shall continue to coordinate our forces. So we next meet. May the twelve bless and keep you. Why does her dress look like that? I hate the shape of it. It's terrible. It was kind of her to speak with us personally. Maybe certain she has no shortage of other responsibilities. Well, I, for one, am inclined to do as her grace requests. 
Lest we forget, Erinvald and Fordola are in Pagwathon on reconnaissance. The sooner we save the day, the better their chances. She looks... She literally looks like... Like a... Like a... What is it? A shrimp? No, what is a pumpkin? A squash. She looks like squash! Indeed. To the airship, then. She literally just looks like squash. <laughs> a gourd. Yes, thank you. That was the word I was looking for. Yo, look at that hairdo, bestie. Alright, speak of the mortal flames, pilot at the airship landing in Ulda. Alrighty. Oh, look how cute Ulda is right now. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at your ears! I want those ears so fucking bad for my, um. Oh. Hi! Mimo Mimosa! What's up, Mimosa? Um, but I want those ears so bad for my wind-up pepper. But I'll get them eventually. It'll take a while, but it'll happen. That means I have to grind out my alt, though. I don't want to grind out my alt. <laughs> and they got four ears! What's wrong with four ears? There's nothing wrong with that. Alright, let's go to the airship landing, babes. Righty. Hello, scary squash. Yes, I'm sorry. She looks like you. Oh, it's a wild Vosk. Hello. Greetings. We've been expecting you. But say the word and we shall depart for Pagathon at once. <gasps> Pagathon now accessible. I Vosk, did you did you want to did you want to accompany me? Did you want to come? Oh. RIP. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I know Red was waiting. Let's see. And I will also invite Jay, assuming he wants to accompany. Yeah, okay. Brilliant, amazing, beautiful, beautiful. I can tank. I have a new ult after grinding out my other ult. Pray for me. Oh my god. How many characters do you have, Emmy? Hello, Cow Punter. What a beautiful username. I love Pagathon. Is it a good dungeon? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm big excited. Okay, we good? We good? Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. 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 <gasps> I get kissed. I get kiss. I get kiss. I'm getting a kiss and I get a little wave. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. This one. <laughs> Ooh, the way their laugh like echoed across the fucking room. Holy moly. You have four alts. Okay, I can't judge. I have like six. I have actually more than six. I have some in different worlds. But I don't play any of them. <laughs> that was me. Oh, that was you, Sumi! I like your Viera. She's cute. Hello, the music. The drama? Oh my god, your little hat. Charles' little hat. Awesome. And yes, mommy! Get their ass! I love an angry mommy. White mage has to have a white hat. You're so right, bestie. You're so right. Hello, is my girl? Oh, okay. Okay, that was delayed. Am I having lag? I might be. We ball though. We ball. Can I attack someone here? Yes, I can. Oh wait. Hello? Why was I all the way up there? Why was I all the way up there? Okay, hello abilities? Hello controller? Oh my god. Oh I no, I did not mean to use No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I didn't go off. Uh, 
Do I have to keep going? No, that does not seem like I have to keep going. Oh, now I guess I can keep going. Oh, hello? Can I keep going? Okay, I can keep going. Thank you, boss. Is the audio okay, chat? Are we good? Okay, two of them are not aggroed on me. I can't even, I can't even... Which ones are they? Are these little guys? Whatever, I'll figure it out over here. It's not even letting me- it won't even let me, like, target them on my- on my thingy- ah! <laughs> It- I'm losing aggro so hard! This is so bad, this is so bad. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're chillin', we're chillin', we're chillin'. I think I'm losing aggro on one of them? No, we're good. <gasps> I should probably be using this ability. I should probably also be using this ability, too. My bad, sorry. I forgot how to play Dark Knight, I'm so sorry. I only played for MSQ now. Cause it's maxed out. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Jay. Forgive me. My bad, my bad, my bad. Hey, we're chilling. This way? Is it this way? Is it this way? Oh, this way. <gasps> Hello? I'm Hulok? Let's go. Okay, I cannot use my lunch. That sucked. That's huge. Okay. Am I- am I- am I in the clear? Can I go back here? Can I go here? Am I chilling? No, I'm not chilling. I don't know. Oh god. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Blue ball though. Blue ball. Hello? What is he using now? Oh! Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna keep here. Okay, my bad. I swear to god, if you leave right after I use that... I'm gonna do this mechanic here. Oh, hello. Just avoid the AoE, I guess? Oh, I'm standing fucking in it. Oh, 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 okay. I have one. Oh god, oh god. Does this stay there? Okay, it does stay there. Can I squeeze in here? I can. Ow. Hello? 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 Okay, there is a mechanic there that I, I must have not picked up on? And our healer died too? I didn't even see that? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What did I miss there? What did I miss? You're unknowingly staying in the shop. Oh, I was? Okay. So don't stand in those at all. Okay. So don't stand in those at all then. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yo, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? You want to do the walk of shame together? Yeah, sending in the balls hurts. Okay, so no balls. No balls, no balls, no balls. Got it. There's a lot happening on the screen, but I'll f I'll f I got this. We got this. Collectively, we got this.
Okay. 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 Ready? Ready? We're good? Okay. Ah, wrong ability. That's fine, though, I didn't use it. Okay, 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 okay. These? These towers? Does it say? Did it say there? Okay, so it stays there. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, I think. I think. So don't stand in these. Do I bring him? Okay. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh god. Okay. So the towers. Okay. Is like that. Like that. Okay. Did I do it? Did I do it right this time? That's what fucking killed me last time. I'm so sorry. Okay, well! <laughs> I guess the fuck not. Sorry, Your are in trouble. Let's split up. Let's split up? Okay. Are we going to this one? Oh, good lord. A good gravy. Okay, hello. Hello? Ability? Ab abilities? Thank you. Oh, I'm blocked off here. Okay, I guess that's it then. No, wrong ability, wrong ability, wrong ability. Arthritis is arthritis sing. Oh, I guess I could have just like moved back a bit. Maybe a little bit of that, I guess. Oh no, because I'm targeting the one that's right in front of me now. That was pointless. Is it this one? Oh, it is this one. I didn't even fucking see this guy over here. Okay. This way? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, God, he's so sexy. Oh, my God, Estinian, please. Hello? And then these guys over here. Mommy! Oh. She gonna pull her babies out of their misery. 
This is so sad. <laughs> it's really funny reading Teledragon because all I'm reading is telenovela. Telling the dragon. <laughs> Hello? Okay, what's this? You lend us your aid and let's cru- wait, what? And let's crush this accursed war machine? Okay, let's go. Are these guys gonna be mobs? What is this? Someone is not aggroed on me again. There's an Imperial summer here. Oh my god! Hello? Should I be baiting them into that? Wait, why are we all going there? Wait, why are y'all there? Wait, what? Is it this, are you putting- oh, wait, what? Oh, what's happening? Oh, hello? What is this? Where are we zooming? Where are we zooming to? <gasps> hello? We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Nothing bad is happening here. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I should probably use the other ability. Oh, hello. Going over here. Okay, now it's gonna pop up from here. I'm gonna jump up. Like this doesn't oh it does spin. Okay. Oh! Did we do it? We did it! Nice! Going this way! Let's go, let's go. Doo -doo -doo. Is this a dead end? Yeah. Are we gonna have to fly or something? I'm gonna go from here. Oh, there's a treasure chest in here over there. Hello? Oh, I should not have used that ability. No, oh, actually, no, it's fine. It's small. Small mob. Abilities. I always like save them for no reason. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <gasps> oh, are we gonna are we gonna get on one? <gasps> are they gonna grab me on my feetsies? Oh, I fly! I do a fly. We do a fly. We do a soar. We zoom in. We go in. We go in, bestie. That's so cute. It's so cute. Are you gonna bring us down here? Yeah. God damn. Ah! 
sky armor? What's the sky armor one? This one, I have not aggroed on it. Is it you? Is it you? Yeah, it is you, I got you. Oh my god, mommy's fighting with us? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. Bahamusi! The lunar Bahamusi! Oh my god, let's go. I want to see them duke it out, man. With Estinian too? Oh, did he get him in the booby? He said, nah, bait. Jesus, game. Please, I was enjoying the cutscene. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, sorry. I come in, 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 wait. I'm gonna. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Hello? Hello? Let me, let me lunch. Thank you. ability did not go off. I have time. Ah, can I get that? Okay. This one, that one's already up. Okay, what should I be aware of here? What should I be aware of here? What is this? What is this little thing? Oh, these little spiky guys. Ooh, do I avoid them? Okay, they hurt. They hurt, they hurt. Okay, I can go back in. Or one more. Can I go? Yeah, I can go. Okay. Ow. Out of this. Oh. Ah! Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, stay away from these. Okay, okay. I don't know the order that it popped up in. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Are you stuck in the middle? You're not gonna join me? Yeah, you're using an ability. Okay, that's fine. I'll still put this here. Yeah, that's fine. The range is okay. I'm fucking up my cooldowns. What is this? I don't know where it's in. I don't know where it's in. Do I go in the middle? Do I go in the middle? Yeah. I have that ability. <laughs> I forgot that's a Bahamut ability. Or not ability, but like, um, a moat. I can do it too, bitch. There's no way this is like the end of the battle. Like, there seems like there should be so much more. Like, this seems way too quick. Just wasted fray too, but that's fine. Oh. Yeah, Pepper go, yeah. <laughs> She's 
like Link. <laughs> we did it. We took down Bahamussi. Easy. Easy clap. Only one little blip earlier. But we did the thing. I saved the day. I saved the day. I am a god. Hello? What does this look like? It covers pep the it covers the pussy. Perfect. That's what we need. That's exactly what she needed. Dentist! All of chat just got wiped because all I see is the fact is the fact that you gifted fifty gifted subs. Oh my god! Dentist, thank you for gifting fifty subs. Oh my god! To everyone I got gifted a sub, welcome to the coming of your badge votes and your stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Who who dodged? Who got dodged? I don't know who gifted me. I've never been here before, but thanks, LOL. Welcome, Moki or Zamoki, uh, to the to the stream and now to the coven. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy your your emotes. Damn! Look at all the Dodgers. Pain, pain. Someone fix that. Someone fix that. Ken, thank you for gifting him for a sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Dentists are the chat open wide and say ah, oh my god. That's what dentist should say every time he's about to sub bomb. Chat, say ah! <laughs> and then he'll drop a fat load of gifted subs. <laughs> dentist, seriously, thank you so much. Thought I dodged and I realized the sub last stream. Yeah, you subbed when I was like in shambles. <laughs> Alrighty, let me get out of here then. Wait. Hey, can y'all pass on this? Can y'all stop simping over Grahatia and looking at red slippers? And pass on the loot? This is my thing for the 100 videos. I appreciate it. Dodged by Blame Vosk? How dare you blame Vosk? Never. Never blame Vla Vlosk. Vlosk. The red Gucci flip-flops. Oh my god. What's the brand? Are they designer red? This chat not simping? I know, right? We simp for everybody in this chat. We're down horrendous. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 biddies, Nissan. Children of man, the shade of my beloved is no more, and I, I shall be forever in your debt. Antal an in Eisdor, mm, Antal Afa, Snalask Er, I Ash An Dran Mira Al. By your deeds are we set free, and free we shall remain, as long as I draw breath. Never again shall the dragons of Mericidia hearken to the lies of the Asians. This I vow. Bye, mommy. Noble warriors, the dragons chose their friends well. Is this an Amalja speaking? Long have our peoples waged war, but no more. Your fallen lie beside our own. By our words and deeds shall we honor their sacrifice. Camper, thank you for paying forward the gifted sub and gifting one to Adelia. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good night, dentist. I 
appreciate you so much for all the love that you have given me and our chat thank you and thanks to you we can now bump the sub count from 350 to 400 because we have now passed it boom we love to see it we love to see it now we just need like 600 more subs <laughs> and then we can get back on track to what my usual count is amazing all right let's get back to the game now uh you can make peace with Ulda then we would be proud to call you our allies yeah <laughs> <gasps> the enemy of our enemy is our friend. And you have proven yourselves worthy of our trust. It is the Garleans who are deserving of our fury. I shall see that my brethren learn the truth of this day and rally as many as possible to the cause till we meet again. See a chief. Hey, oh, the lens flare? The aesthetics? Interesting. Hey, Richie. And thus did we make allies of the Amalgia. Look at that! It would certainly seem that way. The Sultana will be pleased. Let's go and give her the good news, shall we? Yeezer. We did it. We did it. We saved the day. Right? Right? <laughs> Sometime earlier, inside the Pagothon Tower. Oh shit. Fordola and the uh, Thingamabula. Irvin Varvadar. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ew, what are they standing in? The forbidden grape jello. Oh my god. What in the hell is going on here? Eee, squelching! What in Ralga's name happened here? The gods only know. But you can bet these poor sods aren't here by choice. Quickly! We've got to get them free! Get back! Oh no, oh no, oh no, Aaron Vold! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No! What have I done? You just touched it's the titty! Too late for them. We're leaving now! Oh. oh! What are they charging? What are they summoning? Who are they summoning? Was it the Bahamusi? No, I don't know. Go, 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 go! Ooh. Yo! <gasps> it's it's no. fucking Ifrit, no! but like, oh my god, oh my god, Aaron Ball, Will Aaron Ball. We came together and we're leaving together. What do you mean? What do? You Invested. What do you mean? What happened? No, I'm not trying to talk to you, Rati. I'm. At, what happened? No, I need to know. What do you mean? Well, it would be too much to hope that we have seen the last of Fan Daniel. We have Fan Daniel. I cannot read that fucking name. We have dealt his schemes, telling blow this day, and that alone is cause to celebrate. Bro, my brother in Christ, my brother in Heidelin, my brother in Heidelin. And celebrate I will when we have received word of Aaron Vold's safe return. Oh, bestie, I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't think he's okay. He gonna come back in ten different pieces. He got blown to smithereens. He got smooshed. 
Very cool, very cool. No, underlay, underlay, underlay. What's next? When the dust settles. Oh no, he don't look happy. Alfie knows the miner to share his account of the events that unfolded in the past. Chat. Chat, what's going on? I don't like he. I don't like he this. I told you, I knew he was gonna die. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my god. Oh, sitting around here worrying is not gonna help matters. Come, we must discuss the day's events with Pippin and her grace. Brave scions! <laughs> oh, it's them. Would that I could treat you to a hero's welcome, but I bear urgent news from the fr frostest mystery friend to steam mini. Your grace, whatever is the matter. As our troops withdrew from Paglathon, they came upon they came upon the two scouts sent to the nearby tower. I have yet to hear a full account, but it seems that one of them, your friend, I believe, had been wounded and was being dragged away by the other. <gasps> no! No, no, no. Oh no. Oh no! I, I must go. Forgive me, your grace. Oh no! Man. Not Aaron Vold. He was too kind. He was too sweet. Can you tell us all of Aaron Vold's condition, Your Grace? The wounded scout. Not save that is not save that it is grave. The Chirurgeons tend to him even as we speak. Oh no. Alfino's gonna have a big character fucking arc right now. Oh my god, the infirmary must be in inundated. With the wounded. If all of us go, we'll only get underfoot. Pepper Asinian, would you mind going after Alfino? He may need some support from someone other than me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Very well. Thank you. The rest of us will see that the relevant people know what took place in Pagothan. I'm nervous. Chat. Thanks, Zen. Thank you. Thank you for finalizing Waldo. I appreciate it. We're in the middle of something! <laughs> Come on, then. Yes, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alfino's gonna have a... He's gonna have a moment. Oh, my God. Is this gonna be the kickstart to Endwalker? Oh, no. No, there's still more. I have 5.55 to do, right? So, we, we still got... We still got time. I still got time. Where do I go for this? I'm scared. I got four more quests. Okay. You sipped for him. So I did. I did. I sipped for him, and now he's dead. And now he's dead. This is what I get. This is why I'm not allowed to sip for people in this game. Because everyone that I sip for fucking dies. I couldn't even get a taste of the air and wussy. They couldn't give me a crumb. Not a what? What? Here, do you need to? Do you need to come under my umbrella? You're getting a little wet. Oh no, you have a hat. You're fine. Okay. Okay. Where am I going? You know, you know it's bad when Jay follows you around. You know something really bad is about to happen when Jay is following you. I'm here to help? Yeah, is that why you're a healer? You're gonna go heal- You're gonna go heal Aaron Vold for me? Are you gonna go take care of the sweet little white man for me? The simp curse! The simp scare- The simp curse! Will you unsprout yourself out of this? I I don't know how to get rid of my sprout thingy. I went into the thingy mabugi in the in the thingamabop and it said I couldn't do it. In the um in the um in the inn. I couldn't get rid of my sprout. I don't know why I still have a sprout. I had the returner flower thingy for a while. Oh, Elf, you know, wait, what ye? Please tell me something, anything. Oh no. Instead of standing there gopping, why don't you tell your friend to stop whining like an underfed dog? People are fighting for their lives in there. Miss Fordola. You put that attitude away, a little man is sad. Goodness. Another one came to see the lad in another one come to see the lad in silver armor. Master 
Damn Elliot. Damn Elliot. Damn Elliot. Damn Elliot. But it's the same time as we speak. If you'd be so kind as to wait. What did Master Damn Elliot mean? Say. Tell me his exact words. Oh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be stern. I'm gonna be a mama. Enough, Elf. You know. But you're right. Forgive me. When we said our farewells to Ehrenwald, I was afraid that something like this might happen. But now that it has, all we can do is wait. <laughs> Not the sad music! Not the sad music! Oh no! For Dola, have you been waiting here all this time? We have done what we can. The rest is up to him. What do you mean the rest is up to him? Alfie, no, you can him. go heal him, can't you? Wait, I what? I do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. We can't even go see him? Homeboy is not gonna be- Alfino is not gonna be able to rest, my guy. He's gonna have a panic attack this very moment. Nah, Alfino's gonna get in there. He's gonna say, fuck this shit, I'm going in. Or not? Or he's gonna be really sad? And I'm gonna be really sad. I'm gonna hold my baby. Let me hold Thank my baby. Thank you for bringing him back. He owes you his life. And she owes him her life. I just... I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... Uh, I don't know. Perhaps I could have... Oh, she's gonna smack him. She's gonna smack him. Oh, oh. Could have what? Got tempered? Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. Look, don't drag me into this. People die all the time for no good reason. For Dola. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. For Dola. If you're going to shed a tear every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. You take that back. You do not know what this little pipsqueak has been through. It may be. That's right, that you victory her. cannot be won without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. <laughs> my boo boo, my yo boo boo. I love him so much. Fucking tell her. All life is precious. <laughs> You need to grow up, little man. Before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. I'm winding it up for Nola. You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. Okay, Reddit it's people Estinian. like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The heroes. The battlefield's littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you lot will be next. Tucks hair behind ear. And what will become of your precious dreams then? They'll be gone. Like dust on the wind. Nah, she's masking under all that hate. Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. <sighs> Hi, Alfie Mo. Hi, my little Alfie Mo. How you doing, little buddy? Hey there, little buddy. He'll be okay, little buddy. That's why they're not letting us see him, because he gonna be alright. I know, I know. There's nothing more I can do here. Come, 
Let us rejoin the others. Okay, little buddy. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> her grace invites the scions of the seventh dawn to join her in her fragrant chamber. You know, she's gonna have to rename that fragrant chamber. I don't, I don't really like the sound of that. Your comrades have already arrived. Will the three of you been jo be joining them? The three of us? We will. Oh, because of Estinian. Just literally just sup. Sup. <laughs> okay, this seems like it might be voiced, at least I hope. Your grace. Pray forgive us our lateness. Think not of that. I understand a close comrade of yours was wounded in the line of duty. Are involved. Yeah. It was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all, and we are grieved to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our chirurgeons can provide. On that, you have my word. Now, we would share with you the findings of the mission. Yes, please. Pippin, pray relate to our guests the details of Fordola's account. Pippin. I am a little slut for this little man. Pippin is so... First Bahamut, now Ifrit. Or Luna Ifrit, as Fan mm. Daniel would doubtless have it. Right. Tis now all but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned within. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Less variations of them. is the means by which the Telophoroi constrained the rules of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. I got this. Mayhap they do not. If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make loyal servants of the Empire's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald, and in their disturbed state of mind, summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. It all begins to make sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. Bad dragon dildos? They have those Assuming here? it too is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Telophoroi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. I'm just saying. While the situation in Garlemald is indeed troubling, I fear we have more immediate concerns. Ifrit was not the only primal summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers bore witness to the emergence of further such entities. No, no shot, there are lunar primals everywhere now. And I gotta go fuck them up? For a blessing, none appear to wield aught approaching the destructive power of Bahamut. Mm. And the grand companies are moving okay. to deal with the threat even as we speak. That's reassuring at the very least. You need only tell me where they are, Your Grace. The Grand Companies, Your Grace? Is that wise? Yeah, let me just say with the first one. Cause I! I trust myself a little bit more than the GCs. But real quick! Let me just check something real quick, because I think I missed something. I did! Jin, thank you for the tier 3 8 month resub. I appreciate it. Richie, thank you for the 25 month resub. We're over two years now, look at that! And Hyman, thank you for the 60 month resub. Welcome back to the Coven, my friends. Alright, let's go with this one. Oh, 
Though we are aware that the task will not be easy, we would call upon the Scions only as a last resort. Pray, conserve your strength for oh, now. I appreciate that, actually. Thank you. After all, it was not so very long ago that you rid us of Bahamut. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. They have pledged their full support to our cause. Hell yeah! Fucking collecting allies all over, baby. That this historic agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. The negotiating. And I know that I speak for all of the allied leaders when I say that we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. Of course, this was only made possible by the feats of heroism performed at Pagelfarn. Oh, More my over, God, so sorry. We shall not allow the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzea. Amen, Mama. Amen. May these words ever be our guide, Your Grace. Now, if you will forgive me. I must consult with the Syndicate on the matter of our new allies' integration. Till next we meet, my friends. I bid you safe travels and blessed respite. Thank you. Thank you. I just love the way the Lollafells walk. It's just fucking amazing. Highland Wolf, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Covenant with your Badgements and your say. I mean, if you could make a cast from an actual dragon, why wouldn't they have the bad dragon? Truly, see? You get me. You just fucking get me, bestie. Okay. All right, let's speak to some people here. Oh, my God. If there's a reason to linger, I'll take my leave. I miss this great push for peace with the beast tribes. We would do well to remember that old prejudices yet remain. It was a delicate political dance, and I do not envy the Sultana her task, nor any alliance leader. I think knows only too well that sacrifices are an unavoidable part of conflict. But knowing, someone does, but knowing something does not change how one feels about it. You yourself have shared adventures with Ironvald, have you not? I shall say no more. I do love that the like theme for the Scions is like black, red, and blue. <laughs> it's just, it's so, it's so good. We're all like a little bit edgy. <laughs> What's going on here? I saw this then. Right then, unless anyone has any objections, I think it's about time we return to the Rising Stones. Is he gonna stay here and wait? And that includes you, Elf, you know. Aaron Vold is in good hands here. Of course, you would doubtless mock me for pacing about the infirmary. Let us retire then, that we might regain our strength and readiness for the coming challenges. <laughs> the music, the music, the music. <laughs> if all are in agreement then, I shall let Kral know to expect us. A hot bath and a hearty meal shouldn't be beyond arranging with the time available. I suspect something really bad is about to happen. It'll be good to be home. I have some thinking to do. Wait, did I say something or some thinking? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yes, I'll try asking him. And thank you. I shall look forward to it. Our comrades eagerly await us, await our return. And Kral, in particular, has a few matters she is keen to discuss, one of which concerns you, Estinian, believe it or not. You will join us, won't you? Fine. <laughs> I love him. Really? I thought you said you were avoiding that... that Baldessian woman. Oh? Oh? If I refused, you would only pursue me. <laughs> Let's get this over with, shall we? I love him. I love him. I love him 
so much. Wait, what am I what am I missing? One of the wait, hold on. What'd you say, Jay? You're very close to the end. However, one of the quests is long compared to the others. You could finish it in the next hour or so if you wanted. Oh, you think I'm going to bed? Nah, I really thought that I would be in bed by now. I was like, oh, I'll go to bed at like 1 a.m. No, 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 no. I'm invested. No, we're finishing this shit. Nah. Nah. After that fucking, like, that little cliffhanger there? No, 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 no. We're finishing this shit. I am not sleeping. I don't give a fuck. It's a Friday night? Move all. Fuck it. We sports basketball.jpg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go, chat. Are you ready? Chat, are y'all ready? I'm gonna get a margarita. Yes, queen! Look, I have just had like a like a decent tipsy the whole night. I gotta call it soon then. That's okay, boo. That's okay. I know you gotta sleep. Get your beauty beauty sleep, okay? I almost said booty sleep. Okay, here we go. Return to the rising stones. It's okay, Kelsey. If you gotta go, it's all right. We got, we got Nissan and we got Jay. We will be fine. Pray return. Welcome back. I expect you must all be exhausted. Ere you take your rest, however, I would beg a moment of your time. Yes, ma'am. Thanks to Arnvold's selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings, and what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garlemald. Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophroi's stated aim. Nothing less than the destruction of this star. And so, given the gravity of the situation, I move that we petition the aid of Charlian. It is possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods. But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention, our former colleagues are not like to aid us in its discovery. Wait, I'm fucking stoked now? I will well remember what they're like. The Forum's barefaced refusal to assist you in the days prior to the Calamity must rank as Charlian's most shameful act since the Exodus. But were the final days to be reenacted, it would spell doom for us all. Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. Mm-hmm. I trust we are all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary, and have since received their blessing. Okay. I presume your role as a student of Baldessian will carry some weight with the Forum? One can but hope. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlian at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. Oh, is this what she and Ishtola were, uh finagling with after hearing what transpired in the first i began to question the true nature of heidelin's blessing a topic i have discussed at some length with yishtola why am i really scared now <laughs> we were wondering when was the last time heidelin spoke to you directly that day in the Castarium near the end of the dragon song war No, I don't think that day in the Crystarium counts because that was the. That that was um. Elder Bussy's doing, wasn't it? I guess near the end of the Dragon Song War. Which also hurts. 
when you regained her blessing, was it not? But never since, not in all your time in the first, when you faced the unsundered, the very heart of Zodiac. History shows us that Heidelin is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. Did I to our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. Some Might big not lore. the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in her judgment. Mayhap she is. But following my initial discussion with Kryle, I made inquiries of my own. And as far as I am able to tell, Hydaelyn has not made her will known to anyone. During my time in the First, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reen. But that was not the will of Hydaelyn. Yeah, that was Menphilia. It was Menphilia herself. Indeed. And while she and Hydaelyn were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. I wonder, could Hydaelyn's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Uriange's high opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. Then again, who am I to say? The fact is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlian, and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. I'm... <laughs> I don't know what to feel. I've always wanted to learn more about my link to Resolved Heidelin. though I am to go. So I'm very excited about this. Believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all times. Estinian, we stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we Scions may play a telling part. Yet we are but few in number. <gasps> Are we recruiting him? And so, I must ask you again. Will you join us? Please? For me and Alfino? Oh. 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 You see the world the way you want it to be. I see the world the way it is. You are idealistic to a fault. But I know... You would never turn your back on those in need. Never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words, giving the lie to my doubts in so doing. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, in Alamigo, you inspired them to stand up and fight. To win, no less. And even when you lost those you held dear, you carried their spirit with you and made their memory your guiding light. The burden of so many hopes and dreams would be too heavy for most to bear. Estinian! What is happening to me? But you bear it willingly. As you have shown me, some dreams are too important to let go. If you have need of my strength, it's yours. After all you've done, how could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, Estinian. <laughs> Whatever challenges await us, I shall not falter. You have my word. <laughs> All it took, all it took was Elf, you know, giving him the puppy eyes, and I started crying. And now, I may bid you farewell. Oh my god. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, oh. at least.
you will be sorely missed. Tread warily in Charlian, and do try not to let the Forum embroil you in their politics. A forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. I shall do my very best. Farewell. Man, all it fucking took. All it took was Alfino giving Estinian the puppy dog eyes. And then Estinian being a sweet big brother. <sighs> Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. Palace? Palace? The Palace! Oh, he's picking out a new weapon, is he? Hey, that looks like a horde weapon. I think I have that. Oh look, it's the Ifrit fucking dildo. Another katana, eh? Well... Does this one meet with your approval? Apparently not. Or... Could it be that you're still upset about the dragons? Ashley Tisdale. You are unwise to remind hot. me of so costly a failure. <laughs> it will not affect our plans, I trust. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merisidian dragons are rather slimmer following Tiamat's reappearance. Oh, but the seeds have been sown, my lord! We have only to wait for them to quicken! Speaking of preparations... Is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you know what? The new Ultima? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. Or did we destroy that? <laughs> A mighty empire, now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. What a pleasure it will be to put it to use. Which brings me back to our earlier topic. My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your Look weapon. that, like, mace spear thing. That's sick. There is one that I have been meaning to test. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What? Well, well, not quite what I was expecting. Though I will say, it does seem rather apt. I can't see it. Will I not be able to? Will they not show me? They're not gonna show me! It's the dildo one, isn't it? God damn. Oh, okay. I need to um, update the cry counter because unfortunately we're going up. I have cried 48 times during this entire game. Can you fucking believe that chat? I've cried 48 times. And like most of it was all heaven's word. And then it was... <laughs> And then it went from Heaven's Word to just, like, I think I cried in one stream during Shadowbringers, I think, like, ten times, didn't I? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, shit! Okay, that's really funny. I didn't even clock that. But when Fordola said something like, when the dust settles, I was like, that would make a good fucking, like, title for a quest. And that was literally the title for this quest. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have a busy few moons. Not that they ever seem to be anything but. 
Thank God's got me dispatching troops to every corner of the realm, which is not to say I don't trust the Alliance, because I do. When it comes to putting down primals, nobody does it better than us. Well, then you lot, more accurately. You won't catch me training blows with a primal in the near future. The very fell fiend you vanquished, there's countless meals to arrange, vast to fill, and she sheets to wash, stores to replenish, and the list goes on. Which is where I come in. I'm gladly, mind you. As least I can do to support the scions who risk life and limb. My poor Iron Vault. I wish there was something we could do for him. We'll just have to settle for saying the odd prayer and keeping a roof over our heads. It wouldn't do to have him come back to a complete to com to a complete shambles, now would it? And that's enough of my rambling. Off you go and get some rest. Are there any developments? I promise you'll be the first to know. Ah, a hundred by the end of Endwalker. We'll fucking see how how many. Okay, how high do y'all think this is gonna get up to? Do y'all think we're gonna break a hundred? Oh, am I in? Am I in five point five now? Oh, wait, we're in five point five. Oh man, we're really getting into it, huh? A thousand gift of subs from Dennis and fifty cries from Sire in one stream. We could do a chat, get those round numbers. Yes, yes. I'm thinking seventies. You think the seventies? I thought I was the only who thought sixty-nine. Oh, shut up. Imagine that is what we're at. Imagine we do end it at sixty-nine. All right. Are we ready? We have three more quests, apparently. Chat, are you ready? It's 2 a.m. my time. I'm looking at another hour or so of this fucking game. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. Okay. I have many feelings and many fears. I don't know what the fuck to even expect. Like, there's a part of me that's just like, oh, okay, a war is coming. Oh, I'm going to fight the Garleans. Bleh. I've done that before. So that means they're going to be bringing more chaos. And I remember there was the new Ultima weapon. I don't remember if we destroyed it or not. Like, I don't, I don't remember. There are so many things that I've already done in the post-Shadowbringers content that I've already forgotten about. There's Black Rose, or is Black Rose gonna make a comeback? Like, or are they gonna decimate like an entire area? What if it, what if, what if the, what if the source fucking explodes and we lose and then we die and then we're stuck in the ethereal sea? Oh my God, I don't know. There is so much, there is so much that I don't, that I don't know. A smile better shoot a spoiler. Thank you for the hydration. I appreciate it. I'm gonna drink my my drink. All right. <laughs> Expect nothing. Simply vibe and cry. He's crying. My boy is crying. Ch chat. Chat. My boy is crying. Why? My child, my boy, my sweet babu. All right. Ellie's they can tell you're itching to take the fight to the telefa ra fa ra fa fa fa. What's up, I square? I square you. How you doing? Ah, Pepper, you're looking well. I take it you managed to squeeze in some rest. You came hoping for tidings from Kryle. I'm afraid we're still waiting. But we do have some odd scraps of news to share. Scraps, she says. Lunar primals have been popping up all over the place. But the Alliance has the situation well in hand. Thanks in no sp small part to Hori Boulder and the others. Meanwhile, talks with the Beast Tribes are going even better than expected. Encouraged by Uldah's progress with the Almalja, Gridania has opened negotiations with the Ixal, believe it or not. Interesting. All of which is obviously very encouraging. With the telephore, 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 telephalafalafa, telephora, falafalafalafa. With all the telephones still out there, it's not as if we can afford to lower our guard. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> 
Begging your pardon, but I come bearing an invitation from the Alliance. A council meeting is due to be held in El Amigo, and your attendance is humbly requested. Ah, we were just talking with the Alliance. May I ask what's on the agenda? I believe the intention is to share news of recent developments and discuss what measures might be taken to combat the teleforai, teleforai, teleforai. In concert with our new allies, the Beast Tribes have also been invited. It is hoped that they will join us in the fight against our common foe. So the Alliance would bring all of the Beast Tribes into the fold at a single stroke. A single stroke into my foe. An ambitious plan, given the delicacy of the negotiations, but may happen expedient one. Considering the threat we face. Indeed, my lady. And for their part, I am told the Beast Tribes have agreed to attend. Its scions, too, are present. All of your will be represented. To arrange such a meeting must have been quite an undertaking, not only dip diplomatically, but practically. Yeah. Pray and inform the Alliance that we would be honored to participate. We shall make for El Amigo without delay. Then I will bear your answer thither. thither. The true final boss of this game is this fucking word. Then I will bear. Then I will bear your answer thither. Th then I will. Thither. Then I will. Then I will bear your answer thither. 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 Then I will bear your answer thither. Thither! Th thither? Thither. 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 Then I will bear your answer thither. Fuck off! I'll bear your answer thither with all haste. We look forward to receiving you at the royal palace. Fucking hate that word. I hate it so much. All this game does is make me cry and say thither. Well, now that we've accepted the invitation, who exactly is going to attend? I move that you and Ustola lead our contingent. Given how long you have worked to end summoning... Fuck. It's only right that you be present for what promises to be a historic moment. I think we've all placed our par played our part in that little endeavor, don't you, Pepper? Mm. All present may r rightly claim a seat. I do quite agree. But by your leave, I believe I shall remain here and lend what assistance I can to the coordination of our defensive efforts. I'm not coming either. Emmerich will be there, and I'd rather not be interrogated. Oh, please! Oh, please! You know you like it. Very well, then. Well, those with a mind to hold the fort get on with holding it. I suggest the rest of us make for El Amigo. Shall we? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go speak to Astinian. I want to see how he feels. Oh, uh, um, I can't even see him. Don't worry, I have no plans to return to roaming in your absence. I know you'd only chase me if I did. God, listen, 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 listen. I'm not into you like that. I'm not gonna chase you. Okay? There is no chase to be had. Tataru may run after you, but not me. Yet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where am I going? Thank God I can fly here now. I literally hate this place. This has made it, like, infinitely more bearable. Meow, 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 meow. We've been expecting you. Well, some few guests have yet to arrive, the Alliance leaders are all present. Shall I show you in? Hey. 
was so crazy seeing them all here. It's not just like humanoids anymore. I love this. Esteemed guests, you honor us with your presence. As there is much to discuss, let us begin. I'm excited. Information on our taken brethren you have, yes? Hear it, we would. It is really nice seeing all the all the other tribes ah! show up. Beyond forgiveness, these featherless ones are. With rivers of blood shall they pay. Freed our people must be. Mm hmm. We too would see your kin liberated. But ere we attempt their rescue, we must first find a means to negate the risk of tempering. Without that, we will be unable even to approach the towers, let alone contend with their defenders. If all else fails, I've always found cannonballs quite effective. Merle. <sighs> and what of the prisoners? Would you see them slaughtered? No, no Think for no. a moment. Ponder, consider, think. If Merlwib truly intended to bombard the towers, she would have done so by now. True. Remember, we came here to find a solution together, did we not? Yistola spoke of defenders. I but offered a means to clear a path, should you require it. Given the enemy's capabilities, we will all need to play our part if we are to have any chance of success. For if any here should give less than their best, it will be to the cost of every living being on this star. A paragon, the Empire, our very gods. How can we hope to prevail against such odds? That our foe is formidable, none would deny. But our strengths are many and varied. In this chamber, I see masters of strategy. Masters of magic, masters of the land, the air, and the sea. And together, there is nothing in creation we cannot overcome. T. Unity. Strength. That a good thing? I beg your pardon? <laughs> is that like a battle cry? What is it, Sure Walker? Do not express your passion thus. Sure Walker? A little Chrissy will have deals, perhaps. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I am proud to be counted amongst the Aussie's finest. We, Sir Hagen, will play our part. Someone get this man a fucking we tissue. We kobolds have not forgotten the crimes the Overdwellers committed against us in the past. But today we look to the future as allies united in purpose. For you, I will play this very quickly. Sloppy. Make mock of the Ixel the Paragon does. Turns kin into puppets. Pits brother against brother. Free them from his grasp, we shall. As Patriarch Zadar will attest, the Scions have granted us a means to free your brethren from their thraldom. <laughs> this boon we will gladly share, that your people might never be enslaved again. We accept! We accept! Praise me! I love this! I love this so much! It's taken a while, but I do believe we might be one step closer to a world without primals. Would that Minfilia were here to see it? We still have a long way to go, and we're going to need a lot more porksies. But we're moving in the right direction. We're doing good. We're doing good, bestie. 
If I may have your attention, there is one other point I would like to raise. As we can all agree, freeing those held captive must take precedence over every other concern. But experience has taught us that none save those with the capacity to resist tempering can hope to enter the towers unscathed. And even once inside, a still greater threat may yet await them, that which we call a primal. Needless to say, if we are to succeed, engaging with such foes can only ever be considered a last resort. And so I move that we seek to prevent them from being summoned in the first place. Yes! Both prayer and ether are needed for the ritual. Should either one be denied, the summoning would fail. Indeed. And so we must endeavor to discover the source of the ether on which mm. the process depends. Do so, and it may present a way to halt the summonings, or perhaps even neutralize the towers entirely. I don't know why, but like I'm really uncomfortable with them a like toying proposal. with ether. While you are conducting your investigations, however, we will need to remain vigilant, lest the Talophoroi commit Talophoroi. further abductions and summon primals ere we have the means to prevent them. To stand a better chance of keeping our enemy at bay, we would do well to coordinate our defensive efforts, sending reinforcements to assist our neighbors when needed. We are Malja would have been overwhelmed were it not for our newfound allies. But say the word, and we shall come. I see we are all in accord. But what are we to call this proud fellowship of ours? I submit that the honor of naming it should go to the Scion whose brave efforts have done so much to unite Eorzea. What say you, my friend? Do you mean me? Me? You want me to name our group? Our fellowship? I would call it the Grand Company of Eorzea. I would call it... One moment, please. <laughs> I, I will call it, uh, one moment, please. <laughs> I, I can't think of anything right now. Might I suggest the Grand Company of Eorzea? You know what, Alize, you can take the credit. It once upon a time, and it seems as fitting a name as any. Sure, the GCE. A fine choice, for there is none here who does not love Eorzea. Did we just come full circle with the Crystal Braves? Aye, in that we shall ever be united. United in our gratitude for the realm that gave us life. Yeah, the then Crystal let it Braves be recorded part two. <laughs> that on this day, the Grand Company of Eorzea was born. Oh, wait, I love, oh, wait. Oh, Alfie, no. Oh. <laughs> How long have we dreamed of this moment? And now that it's here, I... Oh, forgive me. Oh, my baby. Might we speak outside? Sure. You'd like to have a chat with me? So, what do you want to talk about, babes? All right. No, not 49. I did not cry. Okay. Let's see what he has to say here. Crystal Braves 2. 2 Crystal, 2 Brave. <laughs> crystal Braver! <laughs> well, now that we are out of earshot um, of the other delegates, I hope you will forgive me if I speak my mind. Let me begin by saying that I have dreamed of this day since the moment I first stepped foot upon these shores, and that I was as heartened as anyone to see the peoples of Eorzea pledge of solidarity. Yet even as they uttered their declarations, all I could think about was the conflict to come, of the sacrifices that would be made, and the lives lost, inevitabilities that I still struggle to accept. Also, Promethean, thank you for the biddy. I hope you have a great night. I just remember that I saw that in my peripherals. But at least now there is hope. The formation of the Grand Company of Eorzea is the first step. 
The first of many. Many and more? Oh, hello. Old receipts here. How might we be of service? I seek Master Alfino's assistance in a matter involving Gridania's neighbors, the Sylphs. I know that you and yours have long kept a weather eye upon the crystal trade, the better to predict the coming of primals, and so you'll be familiar with the Sylphs of the Ashcrown Consortium. Through their dealings, they've cultivated relations not only with the city-states, but many other communities besides. Communities such as the Beast Tribes. Just so. It is our hope that we may make use of the Sylphs' established lines of communication to coordinate the efforts of our new fellowship. Yet there remain certain practical differences between a trade consortium and a grand company. If the Sylphs are to perform their task effectively, they will require the counsel of one verse in the operational aspects of an armed force. An armed force founded with the self-same goal in mind, no less. The Crystal Braves, yes! Forgive me, Master Alfino. I know that it was a painful chapter in your life, but the experience may yet be made to serve the realm. In my hubris, I thought a course of Crystal Braves would stretch far beyond the Order's initial conception, one intended to pave the way for the founding of what I intend to call the Grand Company of Eorzea. My plans all came to naught. Built upon a failed foundation of lofty ideals, the Order was doomed from the first to collapse under the weight of more worldly interests, and I have no wish to see this new endeavor suffer the same fate. Mayhap I ask too much of you. Not at all. You may count upon my assistance, for what little it is worth. By your leave, I shall prepare a report, including a list of recommendations drawing on the lessons I learned from the failures of the Crystal Braves. You have my gratitude, Master Alfino. And my trust. When your report is ready, pray share, pray share it directly with the Sylphs. With your guidance and the earned efforts of our, of every goodly soul gathered here this day, I have no doubt but that our fellowship shall emerge from the shadow of the telephore, telephoroi, tele, 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 telephory, the telephoroi, the telephoroi, the telephoroi, and flourish until next we meet, my friends. I got it, babes. Good night, May. Is it pronounced May? Good night, May. Take care of ducking out before the beef gets home and spills himself. Have fun with the rest of the Thank you. Bye bye. Before committing anything to writing, there are a number of people who's, whose thoughts I should like to hear. Former Braves, you understand. Will you join me in seeking them out? As if you have to ask. Thank you. As someone who witnessed the Order's rise and fall, yours would be a reassuring presence. I'll join you. If you're planning to can to canvas, to canvas, to canvas the opinions of your former comrades, comrades, it will be a lot quicker if we share the task of questioning them. Then mayhap Graha can lend a hand as well. I shall accompany thank her back to the Rising Stones. Between us, I dare say we should be able to provide an accurate enough account of the day's events. I love this little group that we have. Pepper, the twins, and Graha. All the fucking babies. You should be glad of your company, Graha. I will explain the details on the way. I like how Ursula doesn't wave goodbye. She just leaves, but Thancred waves goodbye. Iconic. It will not be easy to revisit the past, but sometimes one must look back to see the way forward. That was deep, Alfie, you know. I don't like looking back, however, because it makes me sad and miserable. I take it we'll soon be paying the Sylphs a visit. How fascinating it will be to speak with them in person. But like, yeah, that conversation can prove rather challenging. So what's the plan, brother mine? Before discussing the task at hand, I should probably admit that the report I propose is largely written. Not long after that fateful day in Ulda, I penned a detailed account of the organization's history from the events that led to its inception to the failings that brought about its, de its demise. This I did primarily as a means of taking some semblance of responsibility. Never did I imagine that it might be it might later be referred to by those seeking to form a similar organization. And while, I met, and while I made every attempt to be objective, the account was mine alone, its events viewed from my singular perspective. For it to be use for it to be of use, however, it must be broadened to encompass the viewpoints of all involved. Only then can it answer what seems to be the the crucial question, namely, why, after the Crystal Braves disbanded, did some members choose to remain with us while others did not? I see. 
You think the answer will tell us something about the nature of the ties that bind our new company, our new grand company together, and that this knowledge might help us prevent it from falling apart when those bonds are inevitably tested? That is my hope, yes. But the questions I would ask are uncomfortable to some. As the former commander of the Crystal Braves, I doubt that those who abandoned the cause would welcome my inquiries. And Graha and I will just have to try. Meanwhile, Juve, you can talk to the ones who kept the faith. My suggestion. Have care, however. Certain of my former comrades are of a questionable character. So keep your wits about you, and let us reconvene in Gridania later on. If you have no objections, I have a mind to begin by speaking with Riol and, Al and Alien. 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 I remember Riol. Was that the spectacled person? The Elizen, right? I think? No, I could be getting it wrong. If memory serves, the two of them will be attending an intelligent an intelligence briefing at Castrum Orient. Let us see them out there. Alrighty, Alfino. <sighs> Get Ilbert back? Nah! Sloppy! Fucking homeboy over here? Wait, I fucked up. This homeboy? Hey! Sloppy! There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I chat i am so tired i i'm in that stage of like my sleep oh <gasps> you got the black mage fit too i do too look look we match i am so freaking tired it like to the point where like reading is very difficult but we are so close we are so, 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 so close. I cannot give up now. Also, this person's AFK. They're not going to see that I pointed to them. Oh, hold on. Nyoink. Nyoink. Because this is going to complete this quest. And so that means we're going to have three more quests, two more quests after this. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, you're real! Oh, yes, okay, Allian was- she- yeah. She was the, uh, the Elizabeth. my bad. Okay, here we go. <sighs> well, look who it is. What brings you two here? Wouldn't have anything to do with the big meeting, would it? No matter what speaking, I've been assigned a task, you see, for which I require the assistance of former members of the Crystal Braves. <laughs> but you want to know why we decided to stick with the Scions, eh? Hmm. Ain't an easy thing to put into words, that. She's so pretty. She reminds me of, um, the captain from Treasure Planet. As I once explained to Pepper, I spent a long time agonizing over my failure to alert you to the traitors in our midst. For my neg negligence, I was captured along with many others, and we were powerless to prevent the tragedies that ensued. Not a day goes by that I do not think back to those fateful events. Yeah, Captain Amelia, y'all see it? Right? She looks just like her. Hold on. Let me let me grab something. Captain Amelia. Yeah, Captain Amelia. Treasure planet. Right? Right? I'll just keep that one up. Like, the hair, you know, the greenish eyes, the colored, the, the eyeshadow. It's like, it's almost like spot on. If she had a mole, it, oh my god, it'd be game over. The heart-shaped face, everything. Everything. That's mommy. Also, Red, I thought you were going to sleep. You're still here. Oh, just crack my neck. But during the science, I hope to redeem myself, and I will continue to serve the cause for as long as I am able. But that wasn't my only reason. 
When we were finally reunited at the Rising Stones, you refused to blame anyone but yourself for the fall of the Crystal Braves. And in spite of everything that had happened, everything you had suffered, you took us back without a moment's hesitation. We would not have blamed you had you turned us away, but when you gave us your trust instead, what else could we do but try to repay it? Me, 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 me. Nothing, that's what. As for my own tale, well, I've always felt the Scions have something in common with me, old crew. Hold on, I just gotta... Gotta keep something open real quick. There we go. The duty of the strong is to protect the weak. That was our creed, and I still strive to live it, live by it to this day. But as time's gone on, I've learned that strength comes in many shapes and sizes. From hold, from Hori Boulder to Mr. Sataru, we've all got something to offer. We've all of us got something to offer. And not one of us is doing it for personal gain, because we believe there's more important things than that. Things worth protecting. Which is what being a scion's all about. I... I'm at a loss for words. Thank you, my friends. To hear this from you means more than you know. Forgive me. Pepper, could you... Could I want to go on without you? Interrogate them? Uh, give us your thoughts on the Crystal Braves. Why do you think Crystal Braves ended in failure? Yeah, let's go with that one. Well, its founding ideals were something to be proud of. But deals alone don't make a crew. For every swab who signed up with good intentions, there was another who was only in it for the coin, the glory, or both. Ours was quite a, a disparate, disparate, disparate band. And while I will never forgive Ilbert, that fuck, the fact that we managed to function at all was thanks in large parts to his efforts. Just a pity he was doing it for all the wrong reasons, eh? Only takes one bad apple, they say, and the Braves had a barrel full of them. Not like the Scions. We might look like a ragtag band of misfits, but deep down, we've all got that shared sense of purpose. And why? Because Ataru sift out all the glory hunters before they made it through the door. That's our girl. I see. So while our ranks compromise, comprise a diverse range of people, each with their own individual strengths, we are all united in purpose. Thank you, my friends. With your permission, I shall make a record of our discussion and refer to it with when drafting my recommendations. Until we meet again. All right, do we have two more? An official business. Oh, onions, garlic, zephyr. An irresistibly soft and airy confectionery made from whipped twilight apple puree. Oh, that is not what I thought that was at all. Chicken fettuccine? Bruh. Alpino is keen to hear what Alize and Grahatia have learned from the Braves who turned their back on the cause. Oh. Well, I think we have taken up enough of our colleagues' time, and I'm conscious that less life-affirming testimonies await. Let us make our way to Kadani and hear what the others have learned. <laughs> okay. We're making progress. We're getting through it. Blanket on, time to sit back. Is it cozy time? Is it cozy wozy time? I'm so surprised you're not asleep, Red. Thank you for keeping us company. Chat, are we all gonna snuggle? Can we have a little cuddle puddle? I would like nothing more than a little cuddle puddle right now while I get through the rest of this. Oh, Gridania, my beloved. Onto cuddles. Wow, Cross is here too? Yeah, he's with me? Okay, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I lost all, all warmth that I just had. Knowing that he was still here, cuddled up. It's gone. No, it's gone. I got some shit-ass fucking friends, huh? <laughs> Red and Kelsey, they're gonna they gotta stick it out? I know Kelsey said I didn't know Red said I thought he said he was gonna go to bed. Why am I not TPing? Why am I running all the way here? Man, I make everything so difficult for myself. <laughs> I didn't even do anything? No, but your homie speaks for you, apparently. A cuddle puddle sounds cute and comfy. I know I love cuddle puddles. 
I love cuddling my friends so much. I miss cuddling. Sometimes when we'd have girl night, girls night, we'll all like curl up on the couch together. It's it's fun. Gotta be cozy with the homies. Let me speak to Graha himself. When Alize sets her mind on something, there's no stopping her. And her mind was truly set on finding former braves. For a while, I even feared what she might do to them. But in the event, she was admirably... Ad admirably civil. For the most part. <laughs> That's my girl. Thanks to Tatar's ever-dependable intelligence, you managed to track down a handful of former braves without any great difficulty. Some were forthright, others less so, but we heard enough to form a picture. I must warn you off, you know, some of their comments were harsh. I can well imagine, but their opinions are no less vital to my, to my report. I seek the unvarnished truth. Thank you. I will set about adding your findings to my own at once. In the meantime, pray go on ahead to the little solace... Or I guess solace. Solace. And seek out Elder Frixio. I will join you anon. Man, I haven't seen the sylphs in a fucking hot minute. Leave me to attend to my report and join the others in the little sol solace. I shan't keep you waiting long. I know how play how playful the sylphs can be. Yeah, the sylphs and the fairies and all them. I set my coffee timer on so I could stay up and just chug that in the morning. Damn, okay, I see you. What time are you going out tomorrow? Cuddle the homies at KupaCon? I swear to god, if y'all don't go to KupaCon with me, if I don't see you in Toronto for KupaCon, I'm gonna be disappointed. Oh my god, because you have to be up at 8? Godspeed. Thankfully, thankfully, I get to sleep in tomorrow. I have D&D &D at like 3 p.m., so I'm chillin'. I did some really boring work today to save for KupaCon. Hell yeah. We love to see it. Don't ask? No, 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 no. I'm asking. Give me an answer. I want to know. I guess my wife to cancel our Vegas tickets since we didn't get FanFest tickets and see about Toronto. Yes! Hell yeah. It'll be fun. I promise. Oh, he's so cute. Though I had the honor of sharing a table with Elder Frixio and El Amigo, I did not have an opportunity to speak with him. I do hope my studies have granted me a sufficient grasp of his people's customs. I swear to God, if they make me dance and shit for them... Ah, welcome, Brave One and friends of Brave One. How good it is to see you walking once again so soon after the meeting. Is it a while since we last spoke? Just one before the customary dance of greeting? Yeah! <laughs> No, no, be at ease. It is true that these ones once delighted in making walking ones dance, but no more. Thank God. Horned one, Kanesena. Kanesena? I don't even remember how to pronounce her name, honestly. Uh, said that walking ones would be coming to Little Solace. Imperial ones also invaded Sylphlands and abducted many of these ones. So these ones will be glad to bear messages between fighting friendly, between fighting friendly ones. Oh, English. Oh my God. Disheartening to hear, Elder. It will require all ones to work in unison to stop the telophory. Telophoroi. These ones will try very hard, of course, but in matters of war, these ones have little experience. Any advice walking ones can provide would be most welcome. Oh, another pretty silver haired one? In quite a hurry, it seems. Oh, she didn't get mistaken for Elf, you know. Oh, never mind. Alize, you must come quickly. Whatever's the matter, Elf, you know? Don't tell me. You can't read my- you couldn't read my handwriting. What? No! I told an adder officer accosted me as I was about to set out. Charlene has sent an envoy, who is due to arrive in Kordani at any moment. An envoy? Could it be that Kral is meant to sway the forum? Oh shit. Oh shit. We shall know soon enough, but there is more. The envoy has requested that two of us attend the audience with the Elder Seeds here. Really? I can see why they want- they might want Scions to be present, but us specifically? Wait. Isn't who I think it is? Momsy and Daddy? It is. I could scarcely believe it myself, but when I inquired as to the envoy's identity, I was told that it was one Fortune 
for 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 Chanel Levier for for Chanel for 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 Chanel for Chanel Levier. Is that their mommy and daddy? Your father, eh, daddy, oh. daddy. Look, father, I have been mother to your children for a while now. Do you need a mistress or a or a wife? By any chance? Uh, well, now, the fact that a serving member of the forum had journeyed here would be surprise enough. But him? Wait, this seems bad. For some reason. Strained relationship? Are they negative Nancys? Mr. Foreskin. Daddy Foreskin? Quite. I glean from this that they are, that they are taking the matter seriously. That may be, but why him and not one of the other 98 former members? Unless he volunteered for it. What is the drama? It has been some time since you last saw your father, has it not? Could it be that he is concerned for your well-being? Perhaps, but he has always been reluctant to discuss his work with us. Beep up 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 boop. Beep up 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 boop. Indeed. Whenever we write to our parents, it is invariably our mother who replies, Oh, mother is alive! Nevertheless, I welcome the opportunity to meet him after so long. Meet with him after so long. Even if it is secondary to his true purpose here. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm sensing a strained relation. No wonder they love their grandpa so much. Elder Frixio, loathed though I am to cut our visit short, we must return to Cadania. Pray accept my apolo- <sighs> I was gonna say apologies, and I almost corrected myself by saying apologies. Pray accept my apologies, along with my report. My apologies. I'm so sorry. My apologies. <laughs> Never mind. There'll be time to talk later. This one won't keep walking ones from more urgent matters. Go! The audience will be held at the Lotus Stand, where the Elder Seeds here waits even now. Let us be on our way. Yeah, I assume so, Alfino. I'm not that dumb! Okay. I gotta get, like, comfy. Like, comfy, comfy. I'm also gonna grab some cookies. Is that okay, chat? Can I just appear for a second to grab some cookies? Like, maybe that'll wake me up a bit. I know that the second I, like, put my head on my pillow, I'm gonna pass out. Alright, give me one sec. Okay, I'm already back. I dropped all my cookies on the floor. I love this for me. <laughs> if you need to sleep, consider sleeping. No. Absolutely not. I love me an aura gal. Okay, chat. What are what's the best? Aura girls, Mikote girls, or Viera girls? Or Femrose, or Femrose, true Femrose, 
Femorals have their own fucking, like, title. Their own, like, category. I'm a slut for Femros. Heidelin's Grace. <laughs> Don't tell Ponto, but I think Aura Girls? Really? For me, yeah, it's definitely Femros. I love Femros. But I'm a slut as well for Mikos. I love a good cat girl. And I love a good big beefy girl. I have no real preference, but I play um, a femme aura and she's powerful. Hell yeah, she should be. I feel like I would like the aura girls if they were like, I mean, they're hot. But I feel like I would like them more if they're a little bit more like the D's and bigger. Ooh, Thylanders? Thylanders are hot. But I like the animal gals. <laughs> Maybe I am a furry. Maybe I am a furry. The demon or raw prototypes? No. Prem Hrothgar will be the furry test? Okay, hear me out. Real quick. If you ever simped for Kovu or Simba, you cannot you cannot say you wouldn't be down for a Hrothgar. Gotta post them on Discord? Do it, do it, do it. I wanna see. I wanna see, I wanna see. I have the, I have it open. I have the Discord channel open. I'm waiting. You're telling me that's what we could have had? Is it, are you fucking serious? We could have had that? And then they uwu fought like they uwu fied them. Pain. Pain without love. Pain. If y'all want to see the concept art, you can do com uh, do command Discord in the in the chat. The Discord will pop up, and then bada bing, bada boom. Uh, Nissan just posted the art, and holy shit, we- yeah, we were fucking robbed. Nissan is just a better mod, Red. Okay. Well, we made it. My friends, I thank you all for coming so swiftly. Where did Master Forster four for four? Master Fortnite. Word of Master Fortnite's visit took us quite by surprise. When the Alliance granted Mistress Kral permission to request Charlian's aid, we did not anticipate so prompt a reply, much less that it would be delivered by a member of the Forum. What the nature of that reply may be, we shall soon discover. If this isn't voice acted, I'm gonna be pissed. 
Oh, is he hot? Oh, he has white hair too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I like his braid. Oh no. Is this a daddy? Am I getting a new daddy? Elder Seeds here. I thank you for granting me this audience. I am Fortuno Levea, here in my capacity as representative of the Forum. It is I who should thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying so far and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances. And the nose? It has been too long, Father. You look well. Yeah, Daddy, you look fucking fine! As do you both. Emilians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of Emilians? yourselves. Emilians? Oh, is that your wife? Oh, yeah. How is Mother? She misses you terribly, of course. But is otherwise a picture of health. So, like, do you need a mistress? Like, we can, like, hook this up. Oh, much is so happy. Circumstances apart, I'm grateful that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louis Wa, during his sojourn in Eorzea. Wait a goddamn minute, this man has a good heart! My brother All in Christ. we owe to him. In the days prior to the seventh umbral calamity, it was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. And my position remains unchanged. Oh. Why? To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. It is more than that. It is our way of life who we are. But I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the forum's Look, answer to your request. Let Pepper have 30 Charlian seconds will, with under him, no circumstances okay? intervene in the conflict Let her have Aeorzea 30 seconds with him Empire. and he will fold, I promise. May I ask for what reason the forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. Mm -hmm. The final days. Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and okay. Garmold. I don't like this. One in which Charlian will take no part. Because I think they're foreshadowing the, the end. The final days were truly upon us. The end, Walker! We the walking ones, the end. <laughs> Father, you must ask the forum to reconsider. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves, but if you imagine oh, that the will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Yeah! It's bad, Balfano is right. We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. If Eorzea falls, so too will Charlian. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us. Now, before it's too late. Tell him. Get his ass. I thought you knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, of discipline. But now I see hold now on. that Eorzea has made fools of you both. Now hold on. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? For all his wisdom, 
His only solution was to go to war. But like sometimes Death. that's all you can do. Devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify At least such they sacrifice? tried. And look how far they It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake mm. all you once held dear. Daddy, why do you think you're still here? Why do you think you're able to stand on your two feet? Huh? Uh, Cass, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, friends. My name is Sarah. I am a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. We are in the thick of it in 5.5. In Shadowbringers 5.5. And I am losing my damn marbles. How are y'all doing? I hope you had a great stream. Daddy, chill. What the hell even is that? Or whatever the fuck the... What in the hell even is that? God, that video is so good. Finally, an FF character that can best the brat energy. Listen. He's only gonna make me want him more. I don't like him anymore. See, I don't know if I don't like him anymore or if I like him more. I want to challenge him. I just want 30 seconds with him. That's all. That's all we need. I'm about to fight and fail and wait for the axe to fall. Do you know the plight of those who might conceivably save is not wisdom it is indolence it is in your power to save us refusing you condemn us all i'm gonna go with this one i see your friend shares your misguided ideals but unlike her you should know better by espousing such barbaric notions you subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy. Excuse me, Brown King, this ain't it. Alfino, Alize, as of this moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. What? What the fuck? Father. Daddy, chill! How you chill. choose to live your lives is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, I will not stand in your way. Oh my god. Master Fulchino, while Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us, that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow? You can't see it, but Pepper is, is hugging them right I now. I here to say. Pepper is and mothering the them. discussion would be meaningless. Pepper just scooped them up and she's holding them in her bosom. I cannot believe. Father, wait! Don't bother, Alize. Oh no, this hurts so much. How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen? Because he is a bastard. Girl, I got daddy issues too. Do not worry. My daddy walked out of my life when I was a year old and he never came back. We do not need daddies. You got me, baby. You got me. Where are my boobaloos? Where are my fucking boobaloos? Where my where are my boobaloos? Boobaloos. Okay. Damn. You yeah, know I'm. Yeah. Oh my god. Where's where is that? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> well, I'm going to be their mother now. This is literally me. This is literally me. I am Kala, and they are my Tarzan. My two little Tarzans. <laughs> God, that's so fucking sad. That was so brutal. God, he was so sexy. I was so down to suck his dick. And now, I just want to rip his balls off. What a cunt. In order to avoid conflict with Garlemald, the forum went so far as to order the abandonment of an entire city-state. The refusal to aid us now is, I'm sorry to say, entirely consistent with their historic position. Ooh. Is it we who walk the path of ruin? Time will tell. This is so sad. 
Cock and ball torture, baby. We're coming full circle. So that's what he came here to say. That we're all fools for having the temerity to defend ourselves against the Telophoroi. And as for the rest, like it or not, this was the forum's decision. To watch from afar while Eorzea burns. My father was but the messenger. And as he handed down their judgment, I could think of nothing to say that could possibly sway him. I still can't. To have prolonged the discussion would have changed little, for it is not only Master Fortnite, Master Fortnite, Master, Master Fortnite, who must be persuaded, but the forum as a whole. Their decision was made ere your father crossed the sea. Nor is it like to be changed, and so we shall face the Telophoroi without their aid. Ooh, I said it right on the first go. Let's go, baby. Progress. Forgive me, but if they had no intention of helping us, then why would they go to the trouble of sending an envoy in the first place? <gasps> it's a ruse. It's all part of their plan. They just don't want us to meddle. Why did they not simply keep their counsel, as they are wont to do? Beep bop ba -doop. Thank you. Let me take this phone call. Pepper? Has Master Fortnite arrived yet? Then it is as I feared. My efforts were in vain. I pleaded our case to as many forum members as I could, but they flatly refused to discuss the matter. No, that's not exactly true. I should have to say that they ignored every word I said on the subject, without exception. It was almost unnerving. Oh, Kryl. Could it be that they are hiding something from us? That might go some way to explain Master Fortnite's performance. When he said that they would know if the final days were truly upon us, I dismiss it as pride. But what if they genuinely believe that they know how the world will end, and simply disagree with us about the circumstances? That I don't know. But something tells me they are not unconcerned- they're not as unconcerned about the Telophoroi as they claim. If the threat weren't real, why else would they be so standoffish and secretive? I'd very much like to delve deeper into this, but I'm afraid I've exhausted every avenue of inquiry. Nor have I fared any better with my other mission, researching Hydaelyn and the Ethereal Sea. I tried enlisting the help of experts in the field, but it appears the Forum has forbidden anyone from cooperating with us. Obstructed at every turn. So it would seem. But don't lose heart just yet. With all the knowledge and acquaintances we have between us, we can still find a way forward. To that end, I would like you all to join me here. When the time is right, of course. Oh, I read that funny. When the time is right, of course. I'm aware that matters in your is to stand on a knife edge. With your permission, I can at least start making the necessary arrangements. Um, I've always wanted to visit Charlian. Please do. Well, there are one or two things to take care of here first. Yeah, 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 yeah. After which, assisting me will seem a sweet relief, I'm sure. While you attend to matters hero heroical, I shall see about securing securing entry for you all. And we'll let you know when everything is in order. Take care in the meantime, won't you? Your speculations give me some hope. Give me cause to hope. Yet if these seeds will bear fruit, I cannot say. Well, it is possible the Charlians hide some secret truth from us. There can be no certainty that its exposure will prompt in them a change of heart. And so, for the present, we must needs confront the plight in which we find ourselves. The Forum has refused our request for aid, and it falls to us alone to contend with the Telophoroi. Even with all of Eorzea standing united, there's no guarantee that we will prevail. What does Charlene intend to do if we fail? Okay, I really want the Zephyr, but I'm gonna get the chick- Oh, golden pineapple juice. I'm gonna get the chicken fettuccine because I want some pasta. <laughs> <gasps> Are we on the last one? Death unto dawn? Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, we're getting a shush emote. Oh, we're getting a shush. <laughs> okay. Kanye Senna seems determined not to let the disappointment of Charlene's rejection distract her from the task at hand. Oh my god. Last one. Here we go. Okay. 
I'm scared. Well, Charlie and Stance is indeed disappointing. We cannot allow ourselves to be distracted from the challenge before us. There is much and more to be done. I shall begin by sharing the forum's response with my counterparts in the Lions. Meanwhile, I should I would ask that the Scions... Grave tidings, walking ones. Grave, grave tidings. Oh, is it the Sylph? What oh, is a Sylph? Yes. Calm yourself, my gentle friend. What has occurred? These ones who went to see Feathered Ones sent terrible news. Destroying ones have appeared in Zelfatol. Destroying ones and captured ones and even frightful godly ones. Feathered ones didn't stand a chance and were sent flapping and squawking. When did this happen? Is it too late to help them? Too late, yes, much too late. But luckily, destroying ones were only passing through and continued on west. Feathered ones who did not fight were left unharmed. West, that would be Kurthus. Oh! Not Kurthus. My lady, the Ish Guardians report that Talafaroi have emerged from the eastern highlands of Kurthus and are marching at speed. Though their purpose has yet to be determined, the Cartano Flats would seem their most likely destination. Lord Emmerich has already dispatched his forces and requests our immediate support. Tell him he shall have it. The time is come for the grand. The time is come for the grand company of yours to prove its worth. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so scared. Well, may happen is a mercy that we do not have the time. Do not have time to stew upon our misfortunes. Come, my friends, let us make haste to Cartano. Oh, wait! This one almost forgot. Destroying ones were said to be led by cackling robed one. Fan Daniel! This one must see that all walking ones know. Farewell! I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. Fan Daniel? Who else? It was only a matter of time before the. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before that grinning maniac showed himself again. I shall have an airship ready to bear you to Cartano. Pray see to your preparations and report to the landing with all haste. Mm. At once, my lady. Let us away. Da na na na. Alrighty. Thank you for the hydration. I don't have anything to drink on me right now. But that is okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bundle up. I'm bundling up, chat. I am cold. I am so so cold. I just got fucking goosebumps accepting this quest. <laughs> okay. Look at the Orshi clone. I know I'm trying not to look at him. That is old news, Avalon. We have seen this guy many a time. There are many of these in the game and every single one hurts. Okay. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna do a TP. I don't care. Okay. Okay. I'm like- I'm like shaking. Okay, where do I even go? Oh, it's literally right down there. Okay, so I did the right thing. <gasps> Do I have any tombstones to get rid of, real quick? Just to- just to dump out? Oh my god, is that the one? The only THE Fan Daniel? Hello? Wow, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Fan Daniel. I appreciate it. I don't know what I would ever do without Fan Daniel being a sub to me. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Thank you, only Fan Daniel. The one, the only, the he, <gasps> for Dola. Come on, this will only take a moment, all right? Pepper, it would seem for Dola has. I'll be. It would seem for Dola here has come all the way to Gridania to find us. Yeah, just like fucking Fan Daniel. That's actually Fan Daniel's voice actor. Wait, what? Is it? That's funny. Thank you for gifting <laughs> Fan Daniel a sub. <laughs> I explained the situation, but she insists her business is urgent. Aye, it'll be over sooner if you shut up and come with me. Oh, yes, mommy. Yes, I am still alive, somehow. <gasps> is Aaron Vold in a wheelchair? 
He has a scar! Did he always have that? Arnvold! I can't tell you how good it is to see you! Oh. Is he... Can he not... It arrived a lot sooner oh, than expected, okay. eh? The day I craned my neck up at you. Only because you're sitting down. Unless... Afraid so. Don't work anymore. The Chirurgeons say I may never walk again. Oh. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Come on, Alfino. It could be worse. Besides, <laughs> I didn't come here to dampen the mood. Quite the opposite. All I've ever wanted was to fight for a cause I believe in. But my fighting days are over. So I want you to fight in my stead. Be the hero I can't. I am no hero. That's what they all say, though. No one ever calls themselves a hero. Even the ones who eat primals for breakfast. It's for others to decide. Look, Alfino. You already are a hero. To me and countless others. We see you doing your damnedest to protect us all. And you're not alone, are you? There are people who believe in you, just as you believe in them. Uh, we carry the dreams of many, we'll carry us too. Yeah, I'm going with the top one. Skip it a bop bop, scoop it a beep it up, noob it, skip it a bop. Did she wheel him all the way over? I know what's at stake, and how many people are depending on you. But I believe in you. Believe that you'll see it through. That's why I'm entrusting my dreams to you. Like Albert and Owley once entrusted their dreams to me. There was a time when I would have borne the weight of such expectations without a second thought. But now, I know just how heavy that burden can be. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to wonder if I chose the right path. Sacrifices will inevitably be made for the sake of the ideals I uphold. Maybe... I am not the person I thought I was. The person you think I am. I wouldn't presume to tell you. But I will say this. In spite of everything, you've come this far. The road ahead might not always be clear, but you've never been one to give up or take the easy way out. And everything you do... You do for others, for a brighter future. I'm proud to call you my friend. Bruh. Well, I've said my piece, so I'll let you go. Bruh. I know you've got more important things to be doing. Just give what I've said some thought, all right? I shall, my friend. And we will meet again soon, I promise. Not even a hug?
Nothing left for me to do but wave and smile. You've got a pretty narrow view of what it means to be a hero. Do you know that? Ayo? For Dola? You think they're all forged in the fires of battle? That it's all about being brave and killing villains? Alphano and the others will carry on their fight. But theirs isn't the only one. There are other ways you can make a difference. If you stop feeling sorry for yourself and put your bloody mind to it. There's not much chance of me living the quiet life with you around, is there? If you're content to twiddle your thumbs thinking of what might have been, that's your lookout. But I reckon you've got some fight left in you. Obsessed. I'm obsessed. And I reckon you might be right. If there's a way I can still help my friends, I'll bloody well find it. That was a good cutscene. That made me cry. That, like, that got me. That really got me. Oh, there's a duty? Hold on, my friend. We're getting... We're getting a duty now? Oh, man. Oh. I get kissy too. Okay, I don't know. I'm, I'm so like. <laughs> you can tell me later what that was all about, but judging by the set of Alfino's, Alfino's jaw, it appears to have done him some good. Tankard and the others have already left the Rising Stones, but according to the communications officer, Amalja and Koval forces are also bound for Cartano as we speak. They mean to keep the promise they made in El Amigo, and we must do the same by saving as many of their temper kin as possible. Anyway, the airship is ready to depart. We should get going. Chat. Are we ready? Are we ready? <laughs> duty. <laughs> I said duty. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <gasps> Hi, Ponto. Is that a wild Ponto in our midst? Are you ready? No! I am not! Do I fucking look ready? Okay, I'm actually- I'm gonna go grab a cardigan, cause like, I'm very cold. I'm like, I'm so riled up. And like, nervous. That like, I- I need- I need- I need- I need a- I need a cardigan. I need to be super super cozy, so I will- Let's take this moment to- Get some water, have a snack, whatever it is, go pee. Um, yeah, so I'll I'll be right back, okay? Give me one second.
Are we ready? Hi, Fars! Hello! Uh, are we ready? Is it time? Okay. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Upon joining the battle at Cards to know several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended you set aside sufficient time. Yet the yet the ya. Your progress with the battle will be saved at certain points. In the event that you are defeated, you'll be able to try again with the most recent of these. Oh, sick. Please note that if you enter battles associated with other quests or log out from the game, this progress will be lost. Take time! Tank time and checkpoints. Bono, bono, bono. Let's turn off the lights. Moody, moody moment. I'll keep back on. My fellow Scions, as I am sure you will have heard, we can expect no help from Charlian, nor are we any closer to discerning the Telophoroi's grand design. And now, our adversary moves against us in unprecedented numbers, compelling us to answer in kind. The outlook, in short, is bleak. Yet though our foes are many, and we but few, we may still tip the balance in Eorzea's favor. Yeah, babes, I believe. Of course. We will do what we always do. <laughs> deal with the ones our allies can't. A less than daunting prospect, judging by your expression. Could it be that you've dispelled your lingering doubts, Alphino? A cheesy smile. Oh, I doubt I ever will. But as my friends have kindly reminded me, I have come this far, and that must count for something. Mm-hmm. God be good, Alphino. That's what we've been trying to tell you all along. For one so bright, you can be remarkably dim at times. There is such a thing as overthinking, you know. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation after the battle? It would appear that Telophoroi have already arrived. I'll do what I can to cure the Tempered, but they'll have to be incapacitated first. Have care, my friends, for none can say wherefore our foe did choose this fateful field to be our battleground. Whatever may transpire, pray grant him not the pleasure of deterring you. Man, when you put it like that, too, fighting at Cartano, like, I am, uh, ah! I'm excited, I'm excited. Yeah, this is one of the PvP maps, isn't this the one that I like, actually? I think it is, I could be wrong. No, it is, I actually really like this PvP map. <laughs> Listen well, friends. The Telophoroi are sweeping across Cartano. As for the Asian, he was briefly set up at the battlefield, but has since vanished. He likely intends to watch events unfold from afar. Thus far, the movements of the Lunar Primals have proven difficult to predict. Even when poised to ambush our troops, they instead withdraw for some unknown reason. Whatever Telophoroi's plan may be, the Primals are our primary target. Understood. They will not elude the Scions for long. All right. Oh God. Prepare yourself. Oh God. All right. All right. All right. Bet. This is fucking. This is fucking huge. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Alfino is like fucking. T oh, he's he's a healer, I guess. I'm gonna bring these guys over here. Can I help with this? I can. 
guess I kind of wasted that ability. Is there any other one that I should target? I don't know. Mm, let's see. I'll hop over here. There's a big dude here. Should I help Tanker? No, he's fine. The rest of you seek out the primals? Hello? You wanna. Oh, what do you mean? What's about our forces? That way we could. That, that we may relocate. We, we may re. We may locate the primals! Okay. Oh my god, it's so loud. It's so loud. Okay. So what, is, what does this mean for us? Do I leave? Do we go? Pepper Alfino, come with me? Bet. Okay. Bet. Where are we going, bestie? Where are we going, Estinian? This way? What way? This way? Alright. Look at us. The tank, the DPS, the healer. Beautiful. <gasps> oh, Lucia? Hell yeah. Okay. Here we go, here we go. We're going this way. Oh, cutscene? Checkpoint? Please! Enough! Oi! Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, I love this! The silence spread right across the field. Ali saying, Graha, take the fight to tell off Roy. Hey, I love this. Am I gonna be playing as Alize now? What's happening here? Or am I just gonna be seeing her in action? What's happening? Oh? Oh? Is Graha a tank?! Is he a little paladin?! Hello? Little crystal tank boy? What? All right, let's red mage it up, I guess. Oh god, I don't know how to play this. Oh, my bad. I forgot, fucking forgot how to play this class. <gasps> Petals. Oh, wait. Okay, no, that's a heal. Okay. No, wait, I shouldn't be using this. this uh, what? I, I don't remember. I don't remember how it works. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's not like I wanted to, to deal damage anyways. It's not like I wanted to do anything anyways. Oh! Is it gonna be cast that and then that and then that and then that? Let me see. Wait. Allow me. I don't care. We're fine. Cause like, it's giving me dual cast, but I'm getting rid of it immediately. Or no wait, hold on, let me try this again. No, that isn't what's giving me dual cast. What the fuck is giving me dual cast? Is it doing this? Is it casting, okay, Verfire, okay. Okay. Oh, do they just want me to spam it then? Back and forth, back and forth then? Okay. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So that's what's giving me Okay. 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 As long as I don't have a cooldown that is like over two seconds, I will not complain. Who is moaning? Who is moaning like that? Hello? What does this do? Wait. Ayo? Ayo? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second, what was that ability? Wait, no, not that one. Oh, it's on cooldown. Okay, I can't even use it again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, Bessie. Oh, Bessie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, and I can't use my pull, because I wasted it. What does that ability do? Does I Hold on, let me try it again. Does it do damage? Does it heal? No, I think it just I think it just does damage. But it doesn't Oh, am I self healing? I don't know. Am I doing I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, what is prey? Wait, what am I to what whoa, wait, 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 what is this? What is this? What is this? What is that? Okay, well I'm going over here now. Mm. Oh he did. He did. <laughs> I fucked that up so hard, but we ball. Send Angelo to cure the tempered. 
Go forth, my little boy. Um. Um, I'm right here. I- I- what do I- how do I- um... No, Angelo's right here. I don't know how to- Oh, right, cl I click him. I click him. Okay. Oh no, oh no, look at these debuffs. Her poor Efer. Fan Daniel, there he is. God, I love his robe. It's actually sick. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? Draw a spot of him. No. Nothing's gonna happen to my puppies. Do you see that? The glyph? Yes. How worried should we be? Oh, is he making a tower? Mm. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Listen well and judge for yourself. Though I can see ethereal currents, I had not thoroughly examined those that flow through the heart of Cartano. And But now that I am here, things have become clear. The flats conceal an etheric, etheric confluence, like to the pillars of the Azim Step, but greater in scale, far greater. The glyphs that Fen Daniel has conjured reach into its very midst, and I believe I know their purpose. Should the lunar primals destroy them, it would spark a chain reaction with the potential to obliterate the confluence entirely. The resultant disruption to the flow of ether would sow, would sow chaos among the elements, prompting earthquakes, floods, and tempests large enough to lay waste to the realm. Oh my god. That's not fun! <laughs> that he would go so far cometh as little surprise. We must needs protect the confluence at all costs. Am I going to be playing as them now? Defeat Lunar Odin and defend the ether ethereal confluence. Oh, I'm playing as Urion J. All right, look, I've played Astrologian a little bit. All right, is that Odin? Oh shit! It is Odin. Lunar Odin. Hello. Wait, I did read that. I did, I did read defeat Lunar Odin. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, chat. Wait, confluence. Oh, am I fighting this? Wait, what am I doing? Invalid target. Oh, I have to defend it. Okay. Oh god. Why am I starting this? Why am I starting this? Thank you. Thank you, Vancred. Do you have a variation of combust? What's fixed on? Okay, okay. No, we're not using that. Uh, no, that's Helios. Okay, and we're gonna put that on Thancred. I think. I think Thancred gets that, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is gonna be so bad. Doing duties and having to... Uh, like, focusing characters during duties on a controller is really fucking bad. Um, what can I do about this? Is there an active shield? But I shall protect you. Wait, to defend. Wait, what did you wait? Did, you, did am I defending the wrong thing? Did I defend the wrong thing? Did I? No, I didn't. I didn't. Hello, please, please let me focus, Thancred. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please let me. Please, please. Thank you. God, controller, controllers, 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 they fucking suck. Mitre. Please, no, please, please let me vote, please, thank you. Oh, let me, let me focus Sacred, please, please, thank you, thank you. I got you, bestie. I got you, bestie. I'm a little late, but I got you. Oh, where are you going? We best brace ourselves. Oh no. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. Oh, hmm. Maybe we're not chilling. Uh, maybe we're not chilling. Can I? I can't heal that. I can't. 
Like I can't, I can't, I can't click anything. I can't click anything. I should probably be using a shield on that, huh? Oh, I got this, I got this, I got this. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, so anytime he's looking that way, like right now, right? I used it early, but we should be okay. I have 10 seconds left on it. But first, thank her require our aid? Well, what do you want me to do now? What do you want me to do now? Oh my god, my brother in Christ. My brother in Heidelin. The best defense is a good defense. Hey, the confluence is regaining health? I don't actually remember if that one is good on your solo or if it's good on Thancred. Like, if it'll be better on like a tank or a magical range deeps, but that's fine. Nothing in the world. Oh, I don't know if that would even done anything. Please, thank you. Yeah, controller is fun, but anytime it comes to duties, it no, it's dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wouldn't mind it so much if like, if the, I mean, maybe I do have to toggle it in the settings, but I wouldn't mind it so much if the settings that I had for when I play normally and I'm trying to target on people carry through to duties. I think it's because they're NPCs. So it doesn't like pick it up. I feel like I do have to toggle that in my settings. That way when I enter a duty, I can select NPCs at ease and it's not gonna like, auto force myself to target on enemies i don't know i'll play around with it meanwhile grazia and alice they prepared a lock swords at luna ravana hey yo kelsey it's your man it's your mandems it's bug daddy please and i can't pause and fix it they aren't in your party, really, unlike trust. Yeah, exactly. So it's not fun. Okay. Wait, and now I have my little... I have a little staff now. Alright, let's go. Oh, Medica, okay. Is that gonna give you damage over time? I can't see it. Is. Cool. The other one will help with my MP. Wait, what is. I have to keep them from the confluence, but there are so many. Break? What's break? Casting a break? Use break. What's break? That's foul. What's break? Is it this? Is it the ice one? No. Is it? Was it this? No, that's Monica. Is it this? Oh, it's the fucking one with the butterfly on it. So dumb. It's the I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Oh my god, is that not working? Okay, can I use it on this one? Hello. Is that all I have to do? And it freezes and then I kill it? Oh, is that how that works? Oh, that is how- Okay, I get it. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. That took longer than it should have, but I figured it out. We ball. Oh, hello? I just jumped! Didn't even give me a second to land! Owie, owie. Keep 
forgetting that I have to put thunder on. <sighs> that way he gets the damage over time. Ayo! Hey, hey, yo! That hurt, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Ligma? Oh. Linga. Oh, let me do it again, let me do it again, let me do it again, let me do it again. Oh, I ran out of MP. This is kind of easy. This is a little too easy. More, more, more buggies. Do I have to break more bugs? I do. Did it work? I did. Oh wait, hello? Oi, 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 oi. Oh, did one get to it? Oh shit. Oh no, Alize. Oh, Miss Girl. Wait, wait, wait. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck. I did not mean to use that one. I did not mean. Oh wait, are we chilling? Are we chilling? Wait, are we good? Oh, we ball. Oh, we're fine. That scared me. <laughs> okay, we're okay. <laughs> So easy. Making progress. At the self same moment, you send shoulder to shoulder with Alpino and Estidian. Resolve to lay lunar effort low. Yes, give me daddy. Give me my daddy. There we go. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Oh! God, look at him. Oh my god. It's sexy. I love Efret. Oh my god. Daddy first. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? I don't want to get bleed. So I'm gonna stay here. Oh my god, my butt, my butt. I'm not. I fucked up. I fucked up. I think I used that too soon. That's okay though. Oh, I guess staying in the middle would have been better for that one. Nice, Stinian. Good job. Thank you for helping me with this one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Neat. And just this one. Is he gonna have another ability? Yeah, he's doing Hellfire. Okay. Ow. Ow. We must fight on. Aha! Uh -huh, don't worry, we got this. It's a piece of cake. Oh my god, I used the wrong Fuck. Fucked up my combo. Is he gonna zip down the middle? He's gonna zip down the middle. He's gonna zip over there. I'm safe right here. Oh! Oh fuck. Okay, I moved too soon. That's fine though. We're chilling. We ball. Hello? I actually did not 
let me use that. Can I use a stun on him? Will that work? No. Of course it wouldn't. I don't know why I thought it would. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I did not. Okay, we're fine. Ow. That my HP is chilling. The infernal nails. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, there's so many. Oh my god. Okay. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay, 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 let me, let me, and now when I actually want to fucking focus on him, I can't. I'm not doing, I'm not doing any fucking damage. What do I have to do? What do I do here? What do I do here? I feel like I'm not doing anything. I'm not, am I? Okay, I am. I think. I am. I am. Oh, he's not doing any damage. I am. I don't know. I can't tell. No. Yeah, okay. It's just taking a while. Okay. We're chilling. We're chilling. He's dead. We did it. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Wait, was that it? Are we done? No, we're not done. We still got fucking fan, Daniel. Good shit. Good shit. Alrighty. That wasn't so bad. Barely broke a sweat. What's up? And thus another <coughs> plan went up in smoke. I am beginning to see why Lord Xenos thinks so highly of you. Not that this changes anything you understand. You have merely earned yourself a stay of execution. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't like the sounds of this. Uh, Mr. Alfie knows down there. Is something gonna happen to my boy? Something better not happen to my boy. You've got to go, bestie. Who are you trying to heal? Is that Jay? Jay, are you alive? Oh, Jay's alive! Be too. Oh no. Oh no. He did. Sorry, Jay. You were tempered and now you're dead. I thought he was gonna punch him. I thought he was gonna fucking punch him. I really thought I was gonna punch the dead guy. How fair the tempered. We've treated as many as we can, but some were beyond help. No. I love the little porky so or porksy sound effect.
Do not hang your head so, brave scions. Though not all of our captured brethren could be saved, we are grateful for those whose minds have been restored. You could do no more, and that is enough. So please, hold your heads high. We did everything that we could. We did our best, and, I, and I'm and i so proud of us. Oh, hello. That Mikote is so hot. Oh, my God. Look at us coming together. Oh, I should have been quicker, but I'll do better next time. Thank you for your kind words. They mean a lot. <sighs> a victory at great cost, but a victory nonetheless. Mm -hmm. We must stay strong and press on. Isn't that right? Yeah, we keep going. One battle at a time, we'll get there. To the very end. To the very end. To the very end. Yeah! That is freakishly bright. Wait, it's the song. It's the Shadowbringer song. What is happening? What is happening? What is going on? Hello? Hello? Crystarium? What's going on? What's going on? What do you mean fade to black? What do you mean fade to black? What do you mean? Is it just is it just the moon? Wait, is that it? Wait, is that it? Wait, that was it? Wait, I'm done? That's it? It's just the moon? It was just the moon? I really, I really sat here. I really sat here. I really sat here and thought. I really thought. Oh. Oh. We fucking did it. We did it, chat. We did it. We made it! We made it to the end of Shadowbringers! Can I skip this or should I... Or do I wait? Am I safe to skip it? Safe to skip? Cool. You guys promise? Okay. 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 Man, you gonna have me reading now? I trust you all enjoyed a comfortable flight ab aboard the Pride of the Ishgardian fleet. Lest you worry, the Bonanza has been towed to a nearby location to be, to be retrieved at your convenience. I do all that and now they make me read? The audacity of Yoshi P. <laughs> you have thought of everything, Lord Emmerich. And may I say how much I appreciate the hospitality you afforded us on the way home. Think nothing of it. Our destination lay in the same direction, and it afforded me the perfect opportunity to learn how my errant friend has been since last he took his leave. Mm-hmm. But it seems you finally found a place to settle down. <laughs> Merely grew weary of wandering the Far East. And turning to more serious matters, while the Telophory have been di have been driven from Cartano, it's like that the bulk of their forces yet remain. On the evidence of the Grand Company of Eorzea's first joint military operation, however, I'm confident that we have the potential to meet- 
because the clouds cleared the shadows it's oh my god th that was it it's just the moon right it's just a pretty moon like oh my god the moon is so bright right right because it's like the theme because of like the shadows and then the light I don't know. I feel like I'm just reaching. I'm trying to- I don't know. Okay, y'all are smiling. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Or is there another Lunar Baha Musi? And it's gonna come out of- Nah. Because they're calling them the Lunar this, the Lunar that. It's gotta have something to do with the mo Nah. Nah, you right. Chat, you right. You right. You right. On the evidence of the grand company of Aeris for Arriver. However, I'm confident that we have the potential to meet such, a, such threats head on, even without the aid of you and yours. Wait, what? As such, will our forces keep the Telofri at bay, I would ask that you apply your talents to the task of neutralizing the towers. A sensible division of labor. While the towers remain, so too will the threat of the lunar primals. And given our expertise in the field of etherology, we are better qualified to find the solution. That we are. Especially should it happen to lie beyond the Alliance's dominion. There is a time and a place for formal investigations, of course, but certain secrets are wont to hide where only enterprising individu individuals may venture. I could not agree more. There are none better suited to this task, nor any upon whom I would rather rely. On behalf of the Alliance, I thank you. We look forward to receiving any information you are able to uncover. And with that, I must take my leave. Should you have need of assistance, pray do not hesitate to ask. For you well, my friends. I confess, I had hoped to be able to study the towers more closely, vital as they are plainly to the Telophoroi's plan. Telophoroi's plan. If we can discern their ultimate function, we will be one step closer to understanding our enemy's grand scheme. Should we succeed in neutralizing them, of course, it is all but certain that the Telophoroi will mount an all-out invasion. And then it will begin. The one who waits at the heart of the chaos will come for us. For you. Yet in the end, our true nemesis may be the calamity to end all calamities. The final days themselves. Yes, all right, Alfino. We need a plan, not portents. As Thancred so eloquently pointed out, we are in a position to seek information from all manners of places, not least. Charlian. According to Kryl, the forum has have been more secretive than ever of late. Though this may be related to the appearance of the Telophoroi. Uh, that remains a matter of speculation. But one thing is clear, the forum is determined to keep us from discovering the truth. Uh, Master For Fortnite, uh, Fortnite's performance at the Lotus Stand was enough to convince me of that. The matter beareth, beareth for, uh, further investigation, I do heartily concur. Nor can I think of a more promising place to look for the answers we seek on the matter of the towers. Charlian hath ever been the wellspring of etherol e etherological etherol e etherological knowledge. I got there. I did it. I care not where we go. Here or there, my lance will be ready. And what of you, Pepper? Might you be persuaded to join us? Plot a course for Charlian. If it means I can have words with four verbal horbina. An island of bookworms and bureaucrats? Have we no other choice? Nah, I'm gonna go with the second one, because I wanna fuck that daddy up. <laughs> Only after I do. If he and his friends at the forum think we'll leave them alone if they ignore us, they're in for a shock. It appears we're in agreement. We have but to wait for Kryle to secure the necessary permissions. In the meantime, there is a matter I would investigate. Oh? Does it involve tall structures? By strange coincidence, it does. At present, I have only a creeping suspicion, but with your help, I will soon find out whether my fears are warranted. Ishtola, what do you know? What does she know? <gasps> you have learned the emote, shush. 
Is it cutscene time? Meanwhile, in the Garlean capital. Yes. Yes, what's happening? What, what you gonna give me? Oh. Yo! Whoa! He stole my shtick! I was gonna be a Reaper in Endwalker! Those Aorzeans certainly are a stubborn bunch. Though I suppose you knew that already. My plan to redirect the ether from Cartano came to a rather less than satisfactory conclusion. It was, in many respects, an abject failure. Which does, of course, raise the question of where we are going to procure the requisite amount. The obvious solution would be to draw on resources a little closer to home, though that would require our dreamer to dream a trifle more deeply. So be it. The dreamer will not complain. Then let us begin the preparations at once. With the gateway of the gods complete, all that remains is to gather the necessary ether, and our prize shall be within reach. Looking the at... time has come to fulfill your heart's desire, my desire, to relieve those wretched creatures of their meaningless existence. While I await you, I shall drink a sea of souls and gorge myself upon the darkened moon. Then you shall come to me, all roiling rage and rancor. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. That's so good. And the stars shall be witness to our final contest. Oh. No shot. No shot. I heard that. I heard the roar. I heard the roar. What do you mean? Bro, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? The Bahamosi? Oh my god. It's just an eclipse, bro. It's just an eclipse. Easy. It's just an eclipse. Just a lunar eclipse. <laughs> As I thought, the ethereal currents have been disturbed here too. It was the same in Thanalan. Make that every location we surveyed. And the strength of each current has diminished dramatically, far more than could be attributed to a natural occurrence. What tidings bringest thou from Dravania? We took a number of readings, and noticed that the closer we were to the tower, the lower the etheric density became. In short... The towers are drawing upon the land's ether, which would explain how they were able to carry out the summons. They're like siphoning it. I love how tired and exhausted Pepper has been looking in like all of the cutscenes tonight. She our just looks must fed be informed up. Of she this. wants the nap. We should return to the Rising nap. Stones and have Tataru relay our findings to them. I'm 
And honestly, girl, same. Me fucking too. Hear me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And with it, with it. Who are you? Wait, who is this? The end. Who is this? The fate of the star. Who's this? Is in your hands. Who's this? She's got a. She has a. Who the fuck is this? No! She had a an an uh, uh an Asian mask thingy. Wait, who? Everything all right back there? Was that like the Asian that like gave up what like everything for Heidelin or whatever, or something? I I remember. I think like Hithlodeus. I think explain that sort of <laughs> at solemn dawn grim purpose shines and gazes cast toward moonlit sky <laughs> thus does our final curtain rise with steps to guide what end betides ah! is it time is it finally trailer time is it trailer time do we make it I can finally, I can finally enjoy the main menu screen. I can finally enjoy it. I still don't know what any of this means, but we ball, okay. <laughs> hey, the moon. I feel like I need to have a lighter right now. Okay, flashbanged even in the fuck. I'm on the moon? Am I on the moon? Let me turn it up. Is this loud enough? The days were upon us. The fabric of the star had begun to fray. Its lands rent by tooth and claw. <gasps> my baby! Look at my baby! <laughs> Fuck him up! Fuck him up, bestie! Oh! <gasps> Alfie, no, come heal her. Alfie, no, come heal her. Oh! Oh, I guess I could get in the way. Hello, hello, hello. Sage mechanics? Who's the sage? Alfino? Little sage boy? Oh, look at them! I can look after myself, you look know. Look at them! Look at the babies! And I've had enough of this rabble. Come on! Look at my little boogie! The chaos spread. Oh no! The star seemed doomed to. Oh unravel. no! I don't like the looks of this! There were those who stood in defiance of that fate. Yes! Came out of the city and let's go, baby! He has a ponytail. The hour is come, Pretra. It's all or nothing. He has a ponytail! So I thought this man could not get any hotter. Oh my god, please, please, please! Okay, it's giving Prometheus. Oh, we got elevators! Okay! Oh my god! This day 
stage is set. But will our hero deign to play their part? Ooh, I want to see Ashley Tisdale in HD. You took <laughs> your time. Tis as we feared. The respite of I got the fucking faded, bro! <laughs> the end draweth nigh. God, Urian Jay is so pretty! Hello? Where's that? Oh my god, Eorzea is in flames! What the fuck? Please! Ooh, is this Charlian? Oh my god, it's so... What? It's so pretty, it's so coastal. It's very, like, green. Oh, baby boy, sugar mama! This star still has secrets to tell. Take care, my friend. What do you mean, take care of my friend? What do you mean? Daddy. Oh, he's so hot. Everyone is so hot, mother. Charlian would keep its counsel while the world is lost to ruin. Tell him. It would. Tell him. Come what may, we shall live on. We must. Do as you must, then. But we scions will fight. Until the heavens fall. Until our last breath. That's so pretty. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, he is hot. No. I'm... Well, wait. If I simp for him, that means he'll die. They're so pretty. Everyone is so hot. This is not fair. This is not fair. The far edge of fate. Oh my god. Green blades, dark and light. I'm on the moon! I'm on the moon! We did it! We did it! We made it! We made it! We made it to Endwalker! I'm finally here! I can actually enjoy the main menu now! Oh my god! Finally! After a year and a half, I made it! I started playing this game two weeks before Endwalker came out and I, I fucking made a bet saying that I would be able to catch up in two weeks. A year and a half later, I have finally finished everything up to Endwalker! I finally made it! Thank God. I I really tried. I really thought. I really fucking thought. Literally longest two weeks of my life. It hey, it's 420. We're done. We made it. Peppermint is now an end walker and it is now 420. Done. Done. Look at that. The stars aligned. We got the meme time. <sighs> Holy shit. Holy shit. <gasps> Wait, do I actually get- No, we'll do it later. We'll- 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 we'll deal with- with whatever else later. All the login stuff and the sprout stuff and everything. That was fucking exciting. I am- I'm- I'm scared. Eorzea is about to get blown into smithereens. And I'm- I'm very nervous. So Paladin is supposedly like the canon class for Endwalker, which I think is really cute because you're going from Dark Knight to Paladin, which are like two different like, like, I guess like, spectrums of, you know, like the tank class, right? Like there's like the spooky dark brooding one with like dark magics and stuff and then like light. Super cool. Don't lose the sprout until you do the first quest. Sounds good. I'm ready. I'm no longer a sprout. Can you believe that? I'm gonna be desprouted. 
Someone's got the fucking weed walker coming in. They got the weed with the weed whacker. The weed walker? Did I say weed walker? The weed whacker. Yeah, wow. John Weed Walker. John Weed Walker. <laughs> 6.0 Weed Walker 420. Hell yeah, baby. We're in Weed Walker now. <laughs> All right, friends. I will not be live again until Monday. And we will not be officially starting Endwalker, I think, until the week after or so. I want to. I don't want to burn out of this game. Um, and I did, like, go ham on the MSQ to get to this point. So we're gonna take a little bit of a pause, and we're gonna catch up on some trials, on some side quests, raids, whatever the heck. I'll continue be- I'll continue doing my dailies on stream, we'll have some more pepper tube streams, etc, etc, etc. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. I had so much fun. I am so sorry for all of you who have ruined your sleep schedules to hang out with me, but honestly, I appreciate it and it was so worth it. I had so much fun. Oh yes, we can finally do the Hildebrand quest line. We can uh, catch up on that. All right, y'all. Thank you once again. Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me on social media. That way you can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans and get live updates for when I go live and post on my socials. Take care, friends. I will see you on Monday. We are going to go raid Lamatad. Let's tell him that we finally made it to Endwalker. That way, that way my friends know that I'm, I'm, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Good night, Ponto. Good night, friends. Bye. Sleep well. See you on Monday.